All right, so my friends, welcome. We're continuing our tour of the Pioneer format as I practice for the Pro Tour. Uh, of course, it's going to be February 17th. Pro Tour, I don't think it actually has a, a Pro Tour name. They used to have like names, Pro Tour I guess all be one or whatever, but Pioneer Pro Tour, doing a tour of the format, and uh, we played Lotus Field on stream yesterday. And uh, I did win my match, to be totally fair, with 11 seconds left and numerous blunders. And I'm like, you know what? This is bad TV. I'll put that up as bonus content on YouTube for all you YouTube folks. Uh, but I was like, I should probably call somebody in. It's too weird of a deck that I've never played it before. Only played against it once or twice. So I called in an expert. And we got Connor. Well, what's up, Connor? Hello, Jim. How's it going today? It's going good, and I need some help. So we're going to go play an entire league. And Connor, of course, why don't you introduce yourself? Connor was the, the NRG Player of the Year in 2022. And I've been playing Magic for a while. You, 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 you introduce yourself better than I can, so fire away. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Connor Mullally. I'm a Midwest-based Magic player. Grew up in Brighton, Michigan. Currently living in Cincinnati, Ohio for graduate school at Miami University. Um, as a Magic player, I've been around since Born of the Gods. Um, I believe, yeah, 2013, 2014 was when the first local game store opened in my local area. So I kind of took a typical progression Spent a few years playing PPTQs, spent a few years on SCGs, really dove into um, Magic Online when the COVID-19 pandemic happened, and I played a lot of Lotus Field. Just about every Pioneer tournament that Magic Online let me play, I was playing this deck um, from the Underworld Breach versions all the way through to the Emergent Ultimatum versions now. Big fan of unfair strategies in general, like Lotus Field, like Dredge. I enjoy combos and graveyard shenanigans. Sweet. And uh, we're playing a list that I pulled from the 5-0s on, on Magic Online. Connor played a different list at the Energy Championship a few weeks ago. That was a little more tailored for the small metagame, though. It's a small... Was it 16 players or 32 players? 16, right? Uh, 16 players okay. for this one. Yeah, so, so it was a small field event. Uh, so we're playing an online list that so might be a little different than what Connor's used to exactly, but he knows what he's doing, and I don't really. So, um, the combo deck. Uh, why don't you explain it, actually? You, you can do the deck tech, because I'm going to explain it worse than you will anyway. So, All right, <laughs> and, so. And you have a two-minute elevator pitch for the deck. The Lotus Field combo deck is one that really used to be more of a KCI deck, where you were looking to draw as many cards as possible and just kind of gradually go up on cards and mana. At this point, the big goal is just to register one single card, and that's Emergent Ultimatum. So the, the game plays out um, in pretty two pretty distinct stages. The first stage of the game, you play like a Tron deck, where you mulligan really, really aggressively to get your mana set up. So once you have um, a copy of Lotus Field and then a second copy of Lotus Field with either Thespian Stage or a lot of mana or by hard casting a Vizier of Tumbling Sands or a Hope Tender, then what we're going to do is we're going to use cards like Hidden Strings and pour over the pages to generate as much mana as we can. We're going to cast Emergent Ultimatum, which is going to let us um, hopefully get Omniscience into play, uh, draw more cards and really just tutor kind of whatever we need. And then we end the game by using Mastermind's Acquisition to go and get Approach of the Second Sun out of our sideboard. The deck I'm is like the band of white over is kind of fun, sorry. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Uh, the deck is incredibly resilient to interaction. As you can see, we don't really play that many creatures. And so the, the deck really thrives when you're going up against a lot of mid-range and control decks. You usually don't win the game until turn four or five. And so because you don't play a lot of interaction, because just about everything you do is focused on your own game plan, the deck can really struggle if there's a lot of aggro in your meta. Yeah, we had just played Mono White Humans, and our, our draw wasn't even, like, that good, but just the Goldfish of being able to get it, you know, it was just the Goldfish and Athalia was good enough, you know, so... Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, I got knocked out of, um, I got knocked out of NRG Championships by Jesse on Mono White Aggro, where she didn't even have Athalia, she didn't even have any interaction, she just went one drop, two drop Adeline, and that was just faster than I could do. Yeah, it's funny, actually. I watched uh, Dan Jessup, a good friend of mine, obviously. He was playing mm -hmm. in, like, the semis of the SCG, I don't know, a few months ago in Philly, and playing Rakdos against Lotus Field. He was on the play on, like, a mulligan to, like, five, and just went yeah. Harvester on two, you know, Bone Crusher on three, you know, something on four, activate Bugbear on five, and just won the game on turn five, just, like, as, like, yep. a, the worst beatdown deck you've ever seen. But, like, it was a Watch Wolf and, a, you know, a Loxon on Smiter, and then whatever lands, so it kind of worked, so... Yeah, that's a secret, is that Thoughtseize isn't that good against Lotus Field. Um, from the red-black side, you really just want to be a beatdown deck. That's why I'm terrified of the new Misery Shadow printing, because it just gives them double the two drops. Sure. If they don't play a two drop, they are dead. For sure, for sure. All right, cool. So let's hop right into the games, and we'll fire up the league and uh, see how it goes. Absolutely, let's do it. All right, let's fire up round one here. And uh, opener looks pretty... I guess we have the scrying and I mean, like we have the some of the, the clunkers here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to 
think this is probably a mulligan. You know, we have scrying for Lotus Field. So when I look at this hand, uh, I see we're on the draw, right? Mm -hmm. So what I see here is I see that we get to go um, take two draw steps and have a scry before we need to make a decision about what two drop to play. And so at this point in the game, um, our biggest goal is, you know, to get two Lotus Fields into play. Uh, we have one of the Lotus Fields locked up, so we need to find either a stage or a scrying. Um, I think with this hand, I'm tempted to keep because we have... Um, Basically, we have until turn three before we have to make a decision about what to get with the scrying. And so we're going to have three draw steps, a look with Temple of Mystery, and an Impulse. And so I, I think eight looks at a stage or a Lotus Field and then getting whatever we don't find with the Sylvan scrying is enough for me to be inclined to keep this hand. Oh, yeah. So kind of similar to Tron, that like the redundant cards don't matter as much. It's just like getting the, the three pieces you need in play and then getting your, your mana going. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So this might, might as well be like, the four cards to find Tron, then like an extraneous Karns that don't actually matter, but like the five card hand's good enough anyway. So, okay. So we'll mm -hmm. keep... Yeah, absolutely. And this is a hand where you, we would actually rather be on six cards. Like you don't really want Behold the Beyond in your right. opening hand, but it's, you will be able to find a way to win. Okay. So we got a Triumph from our opponent and they also are playing Yorian. Okay, I missed the Yorian. So, okay. Uh, so this probably an Enigmatic Fires deck could also realistically be nib -Mizzet. I've seen that deck in a long time, but cool. No, me either. All right, so drop, drop, petition. We're gonna we're gonna temple here. Yep. And we're gonna look for a lotus field. No, sorry. that's not a lotus field. So that's we're bottoming any non lotus field, non uh, non stage here. Pretty much, yeah. I would keep another scrying. I, I would probably keep another impulse, but yeah, I would definitely bottom up four of the pages. All right, so five there up. are there are also some matchups where I would keep vizier of top. Is it Vizier of Tumbling Sands? I think so. Okay. Um, against a deck that leads on Triome is likely to have removal for a Vizier, I would not be inclined to keep a Vizier on top. Okay. So you're you're looking to cast Vizier in the non-kill non, non, non -kill spell matchups and otherwise cycle it entirely? Um, for the most part, yeah. Got it. All right. So are we going to Impulse here instead of Scrying because we can't play Blended anyway? Yeah, I think I'm inclined to impulse here, and then hopefully we hit stage and can scrying for Lotus next turn, or the other way around. Okay. Temple's not a bad draw either, right? So we can like set up for we can like set up we can impulse into like another impulse or scrying or whatever, and set up over two turns, I guess, with scrying too, Absolutely. maybe. Or yeah, if we miss here, just having more lands is an okay place to be. That's really good for us. All right, so they're gonna buy Yorian having done nothing yet. Um, and they're Abzan only lands, which is definitely kind of weird. I mean, there could just be some weird homebrew or something like that for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, I still think that they're most likely to be on Enchanties, and I think I'm really happy to see them. There it is. There's the stage. Cool. Uh, I think I'm really happy to see them add Yorion here because that means that they're not playing, um, they're not playing like a two drop enchantment playing Enigmatic Incarnation next turn, and then putting Archon of Emeria into play. That's pretty much the worst case scenario from that deck. Sure. Okay, so we're just scrying here for Lotus Field? Yeah, and then I would just play Lotus right away. Okay. So pretty good start. Um, Obviously when your opponent doesn't do literally anything, it feels pretty good, so. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I see a question in chat asking if I've been on the Dive Down podcast. I have not. But I have been on um, the MTG Grindcast in the past and talked about uh, my experience with Lotus Field. All right, so next turn, okay, okay. there, there okay. is no next turn. Sure, that works for me too. <laughs> They're good. All right, so going into sideboarding, what are the, what's the assumption we're going to make? That they're just an enigmatic deck on a horrible mana draw, or like? I think I'm willing to assume that they're an enigmatic deck. Um, I see Zach's in chat saying that they could be Doom Foretold. Yeah, that was my, that, was my, that kind of like jumped out yeah. at me too. Um, basically what I'm looking for here is I'm kind of just looking at the grindy cards, like Behold the Multiverse. Uh, what's that blue card that's above the ley lines? I can't make that out very well. Well, Cyclonic Rift. Okay, so that's, um, that just bounces anything, right? Yeah, it bounces anything, and then seven mana bounce. Obviously you're not a commander player. I'm not either, which is good. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's seven mana bounce everything it's not, you don't control, or two mana, like, Echoing Truth or whatever. Cool. Yeah, th that was, like, right at the start of my time playing Standard. So, what are you thinking about boarding in this matchup? Uh, I mean, without really knowing what they're doing that much. I mean, obviously they have hate cards possibly, so like mm -hmm. the Asunder or whatever is really reasonable maybe. I mean, Fading Hope seems bad. Rift seems safe. It's just yeah. like kind of a catch-all, which is kind of cool. I mean, 
multiverse just looks very weird to me. Uh, you know, <laughs> like from uh, the, the context of like, it's obviously not a card that fits into the main plan of a deck, but you're like, you want to draw cards, you can space, space out the mana and stuff. Um, seems better if we're playing as counter spells. You can kind of like work around on the end step and then kind of go from there. Um, knowing what to cut here is a big issue for me because like I just look at the deck list and I'm like, yeah. So usually in matchups that aren't pressuring you a lot and where um, one for wanting may be important, like if they're gonna thought seize us, I'm usually inclined to just get rid of our boreal grazer. Not really something that we need in these matchups. And okay. so. I like the cards that you want to bring in, and then I think I'm inclined to just cut all four Arboreal Grazers and then bring in either a Fading Hope if we're really concerned about uh, Archon of Emeria, or I, I would bring in Hope Tender in this case. Okay. Yeah, so the, the Grazers, I wasn't sure when I was playing in the deck as far as, like, boarding them out, because, like, I definitely agree that when you're playing a ramp deck, you don't you want to board these out against the Thoughts these decks because you just want... It's just bad yeah. when you have less cards, obviously. But, like, it seemed like because the deck isn't particularly fast that like having mm -hmm. that Lotus Hill to turn earlier, but I can see it's being totally reasonable too, so that makes sense to me. Sure. Yeah, usually if Grazer's not blocking, then you, you don't really need them. So okay, so, you're, so this, this, this is definitely a combo that's not in a rush, basically. Like, you're definitely not yeah. trying to just turn four or five. You you can definitely craft a longer game thing, which which, which I've seen, honestly. It's funny, because I played against Lotus Field a lot in the last two days for some reason, mm -hmm. and like, we played back-to-back -back against two opponents, one who played very, very well. And like their sequence, yes. which is like every turn seemed really, really good because they always felt like they had a man of everything and they were like setting up really, really well. And the next one did not play as well. And their sequencing felt like it felt like the deck was just slow and clunky. Whereas the first mm -hmm. opponent, it felt like they were doing a really good job of crafting up to an important turn over like a bunch of turns. So, Whew. yeah, that makes sense. Full house. <laughs> Stage is full of sanctums. Yeah. Um, I would click the mulligan button pretty fast on this one. Not playing poker. Got it. Oh, 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 hold on. Oh, it's not four of a kind. I'm sorry. I, I, it's, nope. it's, it's, it's just a two pair. Just looks, two pair. Looks similar. We've downgraded our full house to a two pair. This yeah. one's also a mulligan. All right, so mulligan again. Yep. Down to... And wait, we suck. I, I'm i <laughs> really comfortable going to four and five cards. Um, I think if this Behold were just about anything else I would mulligan, I think I'm willing to keep Behold here. Okay. What do you think? Because we have, we, have we have two scries and the Beholds. Then we yeah, have a few land so, drops. We have, we're, we're looking at a lot, enough cards now on the draw on five where we're going to bottom, like, Sanctum Island, probably. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. again, if this were a matchup that we're beating us down, I would probably just go to four here, but I think we've got time. Cool. All right, so let's ship Island. And uh, I, said, I said Sanctum, right? So we're going to go turn yeah. one, Temple, turn two, Sanctum, Multiverse, turn three, possibly cast Multiverse and then Temple. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So it's exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Okay. All right. We're in. I only got a it. pair, but I'll try and make it work. Let's see if our opponent um, actually casts a spell. The opponent has also mulliganed to to five as well. They were also on five. Okay, yeah. and they they played a brief, so they're not they're not just Abzan. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Mike, I usually do not look at new cards until they're out on Magic Online. People playing them against me on Magic Online is usually my first uh, my first look at most of them. Okay, so we have a Hope Tender on top. Just what do you think about this? I mean, like, as far as setting up for future turns, it seems kind of cool. And uh, we have no way to generate beyond. We don't, we don't have, like, a stage or whatever to like, kind of get mm -hmm. things going more. Um, and they're unlikely to be able to kill it. So it looks kind of cool. But at the same time, it's not, it's not one of our main combo pieces either. So yeah. I'm honestly not sure. I, I think we need to be digging for the combo pieces at okay. this point. All right. So let's ship that and pass the old turn ski. A thought is here would suck. That's definitely, that's definitely true. Yeah. It's a scry lens, though. Yep. Thoughtsies would mean that we get to scry on turn two guilt free. Stomping ground go. Okay, so they keep so with they the just, theme of literally not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, they, they only had um, obs on mana last game, right? They didn't have any blue or red. So... Correct. Okay. All right, so it's Seems more this. and more like some sort of enigmatic fires deck. Yeah, I think I agree. So let's foretell this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why they have to keep it face down. Like, I feel like they could... I don't know, whatever. Right, they could so, show you, yeah. Well, look at this. So this time they're going to mix it up a little bit, and they're not going to buy Yuri and leave mana up. Okay. Okay. So what does that say to you? I mean, like, Mystical Dispute jumps out, I guess. I don't know what other mm -hmm. instant speed stuff they need to be playing. Like, if they had an Omen, they would have cast it last turn. Like, Yep. They could have um, they could have Dovin Speedo, but I, okay. I think that's less likely just because did they, they didn't shock. Um, no, they, I, I still think 
Dovin's veto, Ether Gust, or Mystical Dispute are the most likely things here. Ether Gust is interesting too. Okay, so then are we going to wait on our now? We're going to wait on our multiverse here and just not get our temple value. Yeah, I'm fine to just play temple and pass. Um, or, or I guess breeding pool is okay too. Yeah, if we're going to be scrying, we might as well just play the breeding pool. Yeah, so we, we breeding pool now and set yeah. a hold, and then we get to scry the temple later too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, we could very well tear us under a fires or an automatic incarnation here, but hopefully we just get to um, behold the multiverse into our combo pieces. All right, here we go. End step. All right, so I guess they, they have they have enigmatic enigmatic triggers on the end step, right? That's right. Yeah, so we'll just be able to tear and tear us under the enigmatic. This cool. is this seems pretty good for us. So our opponent has, has enigmatic, and they want to go for a seven drop here. That's why they're playing this naked mm -hmm. line binding. So. God, I wish I remembered. I haven't played this matchup in a long time. Um, I don't remember what their seven drop of choice against us is because in most matchups it's Agent of Treachery, and Agent of Treachery does stone cold nothing when ninety percent of our permanents are hex proof. Right. Yeah, I was playing blue eye control, and I had a fairy on like eight, mm -hmm. and they had like three lotus fields and a you know whatever a sanctum in play, and I was like, wow, all right, it's very yeah. like not really a viable win condition here. Yeah, Teferi's just got to keep going up. All right, so Titan of Industry, okay. Unzap and draw a scrying. So now again, we can fire in our our lotus field. Yeah, I think I'm inclined to just put put a lotus field in play here. Um, it's kind of sucks that it's like mana inefficient here that yeah. we're not able to use the um, the behold the multiverse quite yet. But I still think that just getting Lotus in play is is going to be the most important thing, especially with this strings in hand. Okay, so we, we could in theory like go you know soaring city, come and scry and get the Lotus foretell also, and then put the Lotus in play next turn. But honestly, the the city probably has some value in our hand as well because they have, they have like a hate piece too, right? Yeah, I mean, if they have another enigmatic and they go and get Titan of Industry, like we may just be able to bounce the Titan of Industry. Okay. All right, so we're going to get Scrying, put the field in. Uh, as far as keeping a land in play, does actually just, doesn't matter, right? Uh, it does not matter. Okay. I guess sacrifice the... Um... Yeah, no, it just doesn't matter. Okay. So field it and ship it. And we are getting closer now. So we have some cards, we have a Stirring, and we have some mana, so... Yep. Now they're gonna buy Yorian. All right, there it is. There it is. Now this is a this is a good matchup for us, I assume, barring them tutoring for a hate piece. Yeah, absolutely. Got Just it. they're slow. They don't they don't put a clock on us. Like we have as much time in the world as we want to set up, and we kind of just get to do what we want. Um, and that yeah, the, the, most of their interaction is just creatures that we can answer. All right, so we're definitely gonna cast multiverse here first and see if we can draw a a uh, copy. Well. Lead. I'm not so sure about that. Okay. Um, so what I'm thinking about here is they're leaving up blue mana, and we saw them play in a way earlier that suggested that they might have Mystical Dispute in their hand. And we know there's only two cards left, and so we don't like need to play around that. But I'm guessing that their play next turn is just going to be play Yorion. And so if we go end of turn, just like bounce Yorion and then untap and you know start to like cast Behold and then try to do some other stuff, I think that's pretty beneficial for us. Okay, so you want to go Temple Scry, just use the value from that, leave up leave up Odawara, and then in theory, yeah, the so. Universe also. I think so. Yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, just because like there's not a ton that we would draw here that we would want to do. Like I think the only exception is that Sylvan Scrying, which I would leave on top. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm okay to you know lose a little bit of value there. Cool. So that's a good spot where you're thinking about obviously next turn, not just this turn as well. Mm-hmm. And given that they, they bought Yorian last turn when they had four mana, like, there aren't many... There's a lot... Of, most of the things they would do that are scary, what they would already do. Okay, they have a Kenny. Yeah, so and we similar, can just bounce honestly. this and kind of time walk. Right, so, so No red source, no haste, no land. Yep. So we're going to bounce this. I think so. All right. Let's so untap. And now we can... We start to go off now because we have scrying for the thingy and we can untap our lands. We don't really have a way to like kind of keep going, so. Yeah, so I think right here I would just go get stage and copy right now. Um, and the reason I, oh wait, actually, hang on. Um, so we've got a couple options here. And I'm curious what your thoughts are. 
we can go and get staged, which leaves us with two additional mana. Or what we can do is um, we can go and get Lotus Field and just sacrifice the two Temple of Mysteries. And then that will leave us with two Lotus Fields in play. But we'll be able to use the two mana that we would spend to copy on the Behold the Multiverse. What are your thoughts on that? So we can go tap two temples, get scrying, or cast scrying. And then mm -hmm. I guess like we would we even want to just foretell first to just get more information before we cast the scrying? Um, I don't think so, no, because scrying is almost always getting just Lotus Field. Although, I guess if we hit a Lotus Field or a Stage here, we probably just want to go and get the Seiju. Okay, yeah, like, it's, like, it's like if we're going to be casting scrying for Lotus Field and then just mm -hmm. casting the Behold anyway, like, there isn't really a reason we want to not just reverse the order and just have, like, in the small chance we, like, have some other, you know, like you're saying, yeah. like a Seiju or whatever. So, There's... I would think you want a Multiverse first. Yeah, there's a, there's a few reasons, but I think that they're pretty niche. I'm willing to just use the Behold here. I, I guess, though, the, the, if we do get a stage, though, it costs two more mana now, but it gives us more mana later because we, we maintain yeah. our, our lands in play. Yeah, that's that's the main question we want to answer this turn. I, I don't know what the answer is. Um, okay, well, if we cast Multiverse first, then we, can't, then we can't get a stage and activate it, right? Correct. That would lock us into Stone Raining ourselves off of these two temples. Yeah. I think I want the more mana. That's just like my gut feeling. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I. Yeah. Really, I think I want to get. I want to get a stage and just copy. Yeah, that's fine. So I would get stage and copy right now to play around a potential besage you. Yeah. Um. And then we're gonna tap. Doesn't actually. Uh, it, it doesn't matter yeah, what you matter. tap. We tap the field and then two mana from this. We leave a little blue up, I guess. Just whatever. So. Yeah. All right. So, cast crying. And we're gonna get a stage. And we're going to just copy it now. And just say go. So now we have, yeah, this just gives us like two more mana for future turns. And like, depending on what our multi multiple, I mean, theoretically, their turn next turn is just can he go? I mean, mm -hmm. lands, now they can be able to haste, but obviously it's like whatever. So. Yeah, and someone in chat made a great point of if they play one of their five drops here and leave a blue up, this makes sure that if we draw a payoff. Okay, so they 100% have dispute, right? Right, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and when we know about it and we have a hidden strings in hand, dispute just doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I think I think I agree that that, that, that that's the tipping point between that for sure. Like have more mana for dispute. So mm -hmm. okay, so on that we have eight mana at present and draw another temple. So probably just start by multiversing, right? Uh, I think that I would play the temple first here, just to get more looks at a payoff. Um, so after we cast Multiverse, we're going to have six mana off the two Lotus Fields plus four off the Hidden Strings, ten mana, which means that we can ultimate them through a Dispute, which means we don't really need any more mana. So I'm inclined to just try to give ourselves as many looks at a payoff as we can. Okay, I like that. All right, so it's an Impulse. So... Um, I think with them not having a clock, I would probably scrap the Impulse to the top. Okay, so just like... We don't we don't need to kill this turn. Right. And like this way, like, so if our, for far, you know, if our scry is like impulse land, we keep the impulse. It's better than a random yeah. land or whatever. So, okay. So put that on top. And then we're going to tap, uh, I guess both temples to cast the, Yep. well, okay. now we know we might cast, like, is there a reason um, to not tap a field? It doesn't actually matter, right? Like, yeah, I would cast, or I would tap two temples here. Okay. I think. All right. So fire the multiverse. We see poor and impulse. Okay. All right, I would top both of those cards. Okay. And, and then I would uh, I would just try to go off here. So I would start by hidden stringsing to um, make sure that our poor doesn't get disputed, and then just cast poor. Okay. Now this is my my big thing when I was going off was like, what colors do you float, kind of thing, you know? Because you're like trying to build it to ultimate mm -hmm. and stuff, having the right colors of each. So like, what, what am I floating here? Uh, in this case, I would cast Hidden Strings, leaving blue, blue, black, black floating. So make blue and black and spend one of each. Okay, so in the middle parts of combo, we're looking for black for the tutor pieces, and then later on, we want green for the ultimatum? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that is just about it. And okay. usually you want to, like, make the... And I'll, I'll just talk about this while you're kind of casting everything. Um, it can be good to leave, t like, spend one of the three black mana and then use, just, like, keep two floating off of the Lotus Field because um, all of the black pieces only cost black, black. There's no triple black spells you need to cast. Okay. All right, so now we're we're tapping again, casting poor. So what, 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 what are we tapping for here? Uh, tap just both for blue and then spend five blue mana to cast poor. Okay. 
So, casting board, five mana floating. So, dispute. They could dispute in theory just to, like, take our mana off of it. It doesn't even seem super, super useful. So, we pour. We find some impulses. Untap two. Yep. The stage is kind of cool because we're kind of, like, fizzling here a little bit. Just dump yeah, one of these. So I would just um, use two blue mana to cast an impulse here and see what we find. All right. Poor, poor stage vizier. Imagine we're pouring. Yeah, no, we have, pour is great. And we have nine mana, so we're still playing on dispute, which is good. So take the pour. Yep. And again, just happy for all blue. Yeah, that's fine. If at any point we find a valley get recovery, then we'll probably mix uh, a floating green in there somewhere, but it's not super important right now. Okay. Omniscience and Dark Petition Vizier. Um, so we're going to untap two. Discard yep. the Sanctum, I would assume. And then right here, I would just make blue mana and cycle this Vizier right away. No real reason to wait on that. All right, so that's plus one your, mana. Yep, thank you for yielding your triggers. That helps out a lot. <laughs> and, and then, uh, yeah, same, let's same it, deal. Let's do it again. Rewarded for yielding instantly. Absolutely. All right, and we draw Odawara. So now we have six floating, six available, Petition, Omniscience, Impulse. And they have possible dispute. If we were to petition here, we would have seven mana remaining, but we can't play around the dispute. Um, so, hang on, sorry. We have 12 mana in our pool right now if we tap both Lotus Fields, right? Yep. Okay, so Dark Petition is just Demonic Tutor. At this all right, point. yeah, right. We, we get three of the, of the Petition, right? Yeah, so. yeah, and so that puts us down to 10 mana. And so in this case we would be able to cast um, Emergent Ultimatum. Okay, so we should go for it. Right? So I, um, let, let's make sure the colors work here. So if we spend black, black, yeah, the colors work just fine. Um, it's not deterministic here because the Omniscience is in our hand, but I still think that we just cast Ultimatum. Okay, so we're gonna use black, black, and three blue. Mm -hmm. And cast Petition for uh, Emergent Ultimatum. Which is... Uh, Jesse Fuller Music makes a good point that they could have uh, a Seiju. So we can think about that when we're casting Omniscience. And then at this point, we can just cast Ultimatum. Uh, so we need to make blue and green and won't have any choice about what we leave floating. All right, so green and blue, I would assume? Yep. So this leaves up uh, one black and two blue. And Ultimatum. I think one of the cards we get is going to be Leer. Oh, and they just decided to concede. Okay, so real uh, fast, let's we'll go over it real fast. So we we would have gotten Leer. Yeah. Um, uh, how many hidden strings do we have in the graveyard? Uh, just one. Okay, so I would probably get Leer, Dark Petition, and another copy of Hidden Strings, I think, does it there. Okay, and then they because... dump the Leer, and we have the ability to just make more mana and tutor and just do it all over again? Yeah, Okay. exactly. Cool. All right, sweet. One and up. That was a fairly easy warm-up match there. Our opponent yeah. actually just didn't do anything. <laughs> like, so. Uh, I don't know their name, but they've played a Mox pretty recently, I think. Okay. So they're, they're definitely a good player. Yeah, I used to be up on all my on my Magic Online names. Like, back in the day, mm -hmm. it's the Moto constantly, but I'm not, not definitely up on that now. So, pretty great hand here, right? We have a brief Grazer Field stage. Yeah, excellent. I think this hand is uh, gonna play itself for the most part. All right, opponent mulligans to five. And the old stamping ground Elvish Mystic. I imagine the the boat deck's pretty good matchup too. Uh yeah, usually usually pretty good, just because they have next to no interaction. Yeah, I guess barring like the, the turn two Stormseeker, turn three chariot draws. Right. Those ones are really good, but Okay, so Arboreal Grazer lines up well. Yeah, we are... So we're to Temple this turn, and then Grazer, Breeding Pool, Tap, next turn, Lotus Field? Uh, I would shock the Grazer, right? Or I would shock the um, Breeding Pool and put the Grazer in right now, just because that means that uh, with this Vizier in play, if we draw either a 2-drop or a 3-drop that we want to play next turn, we'll be able to. Okay, so... So, okay, so breeding pool, grazer, temple, go, and then you're saying that this mm -hmm. way we can we can lotus field, untap it, and play a three. 
Yeah, or if we draw like an impulse, we can just impulse and play a Lotus Field next turn. Okay, so valuing the two mana over the two life here. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, if they Storm Seeker on turn two, are we just blocking immediately? Or are we waiting to block later? I think we wait to block something bigger. Yeah. Uh, basically, I don't want to block until the turn before they're going to have five mana, because right. if they ever uh, snap top, yep. that's, that, that's exactly the card we're looking for at this point. Um, basically, where I'm at with that is I want to block the biggest thing that we can block before they get a chance to boat our Razor. Okay. Wow, I haven't seen Nykthos in this deck before. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so this is mono green devotion that is splashing red instead of like blue or white. That's Maybe they're splashing weird. for a rending volley? Could be, yeah. It's kind of cool, I guess, honestly. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe they uh, don't believe in themselves to draw um, Oath of Nissa and they're counting on doing Bolas the hard way. <laughs> I, if they are against the bowls against us, we're gonna pack it up. Just to make that's just like, that's okay with you, you know. All right, so they have the that's, nut, that's the, fine, the yeah. mono green nut draw here of like turn one elf into turn two Kiora elf with the Nykthos, so mm -hmm. that's good. But our, our draw is good too. All right, so our draw is also excellent. Okay, so now that changes the changes the texture a little bit because like they're not gonna kill our, our vizier or stuff like that. If we cast that. So what's our uh, what's our thoughts? Here? Um, I'm very sorry. I need to just think for a minute. No, here. for sure. Yeah, this this is a, our hands very good. So what's what's like we yeah. have a lot of permutations for sure. Yeah. Hmm. So if we play, I'm, I'm thinking about if we play Vizier, we have three mana. Play Lotus Field. Untap Lotus Field. Six mana. Ten mana. What can we do with ten mana? Eleven mana. Um. I think that we're supposed to hard cast Vizier here because. Next turn, um, God, that's really risky in a boat, though. Do we think that we do we think that they have boat? I mean, I feel like there's often maybe one in the flex spot. Not often. There's yeah. sometimes one in the flex spot, if at all. But I don't think it's particularly common at all. So, I guess the fear yeah, would be so, them carning for it, but they're not really there yet, right? They've yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that that's a, a big worry. So I would be inclined to just play Thespian Stage Vizier here because Vizier is just essentially a Lotus Field in play, which means we can uh, hidden strings it, and so we can try to go off um, next turn. Okay. Basically, we're going to be able to get up to, um, we're going to be able to get up to, I believe, 11 mana, if my math is right, and then cast Dark Petition with Spell Mastery, and I think we can find a way to win from there. So we're going to use the recovery as the stirrings, or strings, I mean, yes. sorry. Okay. Yeah, most likely. Okay. So stage, cast the old Vizier. Yep. And then Race makes the great point that even if they do play Boat, we just play Lotus Field and copy next turn and then go off on our turn. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, them, them playing a 6-5 vehicle is not particularly conducive to their actual plan. Exactly. Yeah, like, and all we lose is, you know, a cycle, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. Okay, now, so what if they go Karn and they go Mana Source, Untap, Sphere here? Uh, then we're in trouble. Um, I, I won't lie to you, Jim. Uh, in that case, we probably need to use Vizier to just attack Karn this turn, and then I think that at that point we just need to try and draw Viseju. There's not a whole lot more we can do than that. All right, well, it's, there it comes. All right. Yep. This is pretty good turn three on the play. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good turn three from the sock. Yeah. All right. So we draw poor. All right. Um, yep. So here are I, my inclinations. To be, fair, to be fair for chat, this is where that gets interesting. This is the hard part of playing any combo deck is like, okay, they play their hate card. You can't just like pack it up. How are you going to beat it? Yep. Here's, and I, I played some really interesting games against my friend Zoe in this matchup at championships a couple weeks ago. Here's what I'm thinking. I want to attack Karn so that if they want to use Karn next turn, it's gone. And then I want to play um, the Balligan Recovery on the land side so that if our Vizier survives, we can cast this poor next turn. Okay, so you want to just attack, play Recovery, play the Balligan Sanctuary, and then just say go? Yes. Um, okay. Basically just using poor, like going to hard cast poor for the full five mana just to get as many looks at Viseju as we can. Okay. So the, the goal here is just like, we've stopped being a combo deck, we started being a find the Besaju deck, basically? Yeah, okay. exactly. Because it, it's not possible for us to go off with this and play, obviously. So, okay. Nope. 
So and let's, then, uh, let's get let's get your hands thing. dirty. Yep. Uh, and then this is a really great reason to hard cast Vizier, is that it means that you can go off on the same turn that you put the Lotus Field into play, which is much better against opponent stamping spheres. Okay. So chat says, uh, I mean, if they needle Besager next turn, do we lose? I guess yes. we need to Odawara then, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we Odawara the... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, one downside of only... So the way that you have your list built, you only have one wish, which I think is correct right now. Well, I only have one, one, one I'm sorry. Uh, one wish. One wish. Oh, oh, the, the Mass Mass, ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, one downside of that is... If you have um, one copy of Fae of Wishes to go along with the Masterminds acquisition, you can Fae for your Terra Sunder okay. in spots like this. Um, I still think that it's correct not to, excuse me, not to play Fae right now. I don't think it's very good, but that can come up sometimes. Okay. All right, Karinsky, what you got for us? Find out. Their, what, their hand wasn't perfect. They, they did have to Legend Rule of those, so they missed, mm -hmm. a, they missed a land drop last turn in theory. And they're going to Stone Brain us. Yeah, uh, can Stone Brain name a land? Yes, it can. Okay. Uh, if our if our opponent realizes that, and I'm sure they will, I believe we should concede the game. Okay. So they're gonna. I guess they they should choose a resolution, so we don't actually know yeah. until it resolves. But. Yep. So okay. we can just let this resolve and then concede. All right. So yeah, pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. A little yep. bit of playing equity here for sure. The hand was pretty good. All right, they, have, they only have one card left, which is which is true. They don't actually have anything going on. But, like, this is a deck that, like, we can't just cast Stinkweed or something like that. There's no real way to, like, win the game without... Right, right, right. No, not really. Um, I So, talking to Kane a little bit, who has also played a lot of Lotus Field, uh, what they like to do is um, they, they play one main deck Extinction event, which is just awesome against green. And so they will use Extinction Event to play like kind of a control game, like recurring that with Balagate Recovery, and then use Thespian Stage to copy the opponent's layer of the Hydras. <laughs> and that's the win condition. That one doesn't really work um, with Damping Sphere in play. Yeah, that's, so that's, they, a, that's a long game. That's definitely the yeah. long con, for sure. What did opponent name there? I missed it. Uh, they named a Seiji. Okay, so our okay. Seijis are gone. So we're drawn to our one copy of Odawara. We have two, so... Oh, we have two? Okay. Have two Odoars, awesome. yes. So, actually, like, honestly, all things considered, they have literally no clock and they have one card in their hand. As long as that card in their hand isn't, like, particularly good. Uh, yeah, some card we would like it, Fiora, possibly. We would like it to not be Karn the Great Creator. Yeah, yes. All right, are we going to stage anything here? Is this, like... Um, we might as well stage... We don't have any red spells, so we might as well just stage one of our blue sources. Yep. You know, it doesn't really do anything, but... It's like super thin value, but like might as well do it. Yep. Okay. Um, if if they had a basic forest in play, I would copy the basic forest so that they can't besage you, um, besage our thespian stage. Good, good catch. Okay. All right. So untap and draw. Scrying. Well, there you go. All right. So. All right. There it is. So now we can just go get Odawara. I wish you have enough mana. No, we're one short of scrying and Odawara. Right. Yeah, so I would I would just get Odawara and attack Kiora for one and say go. I don't think there's anything else that we can do here. Are you um, playing the field or? Uh, no. Fields. Why? I don't want to play field. So I don't want to play Lotus Field until the turn we're going off. If we double stone rain ourselves here, then we would need to draw an untapped land to be able to oh, sure. activate Odawara next turn. Right, okay, that, that, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah. all right, so let's cast our Sylvan Scrying. We'll get Odawara. It's pretty cool yep. that when your when your uh your combo searcher also finds your answers to your uh hate cards. So hate war. Pieces, absolutely. And then uh we're just stacking for the old one skis. Cure I mean our, our vizier's a little confused here. And he's like or she's like, what why this is not why I'm this is not my job. All right. You know, like supposed to work the bar, right? Not, you know, clean the bathrooms or whatever. But yeah. Alright, so um and we're saying um, go right. Yes. Why not play Hidden Strings to cipher the monkey before Sylvan Scrying? We don't want to play Hidden Strings until we're going off with this board. Right. So whenever it kills down my damage your player, you can copy it. But like that that's not very good for going off. And it won't be in the graveyard either for, for recursion, mm -hmm. right? So 
Okay. Um, raced is right. I actually miscounted. So if we played Lotus Field and copied Lotus Field here, we would have the mana to bounce with Odawara. I I just did that math wrong. One. We can't. We don't have mana. To, oh, we can't copy it though because we have. Uh, if right. we had not attacked with Vizier, we could. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the attack is pretty thin. Yeah. So okay. So there's a Haven. Yeah, so they are they are right. I did do that math wrong. Hopefully, it doesn't cost us. All right, so they're adding yeah. red to green. And they can nick those for it's only four. Oh shit! Yeah, there's a, there's a freaking sphere in play, so so they can't they can't nick those, and their spell is their next spell is taxed by one. Okay, so that attacks. That's a sure. Clock. Uh, this is definitely interesting. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, sure. Uh, draw draws a card. Yeah. Um, I've never seen something like this before. This is cool. Yeah, I like the running ball. It makes a lot of sense to me. It's just like okay, we just have this like good interactive card against those matchups where like, they're trying to kill you. But like bone crusher remains mm -hmm. definitely interesting. But sure, oh, a lot of cards. That's great for us because they played a mid range card, not like a big powerful ramp card. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're just gonna zap. Yep, and they have no more cards in hand, which means if they don't draw something that interacts here, they will die on the spot. Correct. So, so we're just going to pass here and bounce on uh, Damping Spear end of turn. All right, yeah, we, just, we, just, we, just, we say go, bounce this, yep. and then we proceed to go off on our turn because we have, we have infinite untaps and stuff. So, okay. Um, hang on. Sorry, I... Race to saying that we can win right now. Um, let me check the math on that. So if Ooh. we, Ooh, okay, if we bounce damping sphere, um, untap lotus field. We have three mana. Hidden strings is. Um, I, I actually think that you're you're right. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Chat actually being useful for once. Ooh. Chat chat is useful. So let's just tap all four of our lands and bounce damping sphere. I'm sorry that I missed this. No, yeah, I mean, I mean, I would, I missed it too. So, um, yeah. all right, so we're gonna tap all four, and we're going to Odawara bouncing damping sphere. Make sure you tap some blue mana there. Sure, and then, uh, and then the intent is to uh, play Lotus Field, untap it with Vizier, tap it, yep. hidden storings, untap it, and the the, uh, the the breeding pool now, and then yep. pour, and then keep going, and then we, we true ultimatum too. So, um, so not exactly bounce bounce Odawara, and then I'll. I'll explain as sure. the uh, triggers are going on the stack but what we're going to do here is we're going to play lotus field and then make our three mana and then hidden strings is going to target lotus field and oh uh, right this year. right okay yeah uh all right so lotus field sack two yeah That's raced that. is absolutely very very good with this deck um i definitely missed the dark petition for hidden strings line okay so we now we blue 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 Yep. Hidden Strings, Untap, Vizier, and Lotus Field. One blue floating. Uh, yes, yes, no. And now we are... Are we pouring first, or are we just positioning? Uh, no, so just make blue and black. We don't even need to uh, cast this pour to win here. And then... Yeah, so if we use all of our black mana, and then two of our blue mana... We're going to have um, we have a deterministic win here. Yeah, so we have well five left over with five black and or I mean three black and two blue. I'm getting yep, so a go ahead and get uh, strings. Yeah, ten strings using a black and a blue to untap the lotus field and the vizier. Yep. Yes. Yeah, this is actually like a pretty sick kill, honestly. To go from yeah, this, you know, this really is. Uh, so and then we're not going to use the cipher ability, and yep. now we have three green. And then untap it for three blue. Yep. Cast ultimatum. And, and then, dead. do you know the uh, the standard pile? Yeah, I just was one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I do, I do. We don't need to get it though, because we already won, so it's fine. So that's not, right. I mean, it'd be we want to get Leer, Omniscience, and uh, so the the fastest way to do it because we have two hidden strings left in our deck is to get Behold the Beyond, Dark Petition, and Omniscience. Right, so behold the beyond is five mana sorcery. Discard your hand two to, two to three times. Omniscience, yep. and then it was then I'm sorry, it was Le I'm sorry, it was behold omniscience and petition. Dark petition. Yep. Okay. And so by getting those three cards, we can guarantee that we're going to be able to put omniscience into play, 
and at the end of it all, through some Balaga recoveries, have a Behold the Beyond in our hand. Okay, so they choose to bin the omniscience. We just what? Um, I'll explain in a future game. Let's get sideboarded. Right, sure, sure. Yeah, we we gotta make sure we have time to okay. um to think about this. Right, so, so here's what I like in this matchup. I really like the uh, the Hope Tender, the Terra Sunder, and then the uh, the Pithing Needle. This is kind of the matchup that Pithing Needle's in the deck for. And then we could bring in Cyclonic Rift. It just is another answer to Damping Sphere, but I don't know if it's um super necessary, basically. Okay. And then what are the what are the weak spots? Are we taking out Grazer again? Because they're not really attacking us? Or So this is a matchup where because of Karn, speed is really important. Sure. And so I like to leave Grazer in. I'm probably going to cut uh, the advice that I got from Kane was that they like to cut um uh, I would probably get rid of Behold yep. and then just get rid of some number of impulses. So I would probably get rid of like two impulses and probably like a Balaged and just mulligan to like a fast hand. Okay, so or, uh, if they get impulse here, thought processes, they're not thought seizing us, they're not really like stopping us from either casting spells or having cards in our hand. So we don't need to find the cards as bad as as bad as just going fast and having good answers to their stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Cool. And then um so to break down what happens when they shuffle back omniscience, we get to tutor four times. And we're going to have three black and a blue after that. Uh, our four tutors are going to get um, strings, strings, omniscience, uh, pretty easy mulligan here. They get strings, strings, omniscience, balaget recovery. And so the strings let us get up to casting omniscience. And then the balaget recovery rebuys behold sure. beyond. And then we get to triple tutor with an omni. Okay. All right, so we're going to mulligan here because we only have one, uh, one land that's not a lotus field. Exactly. Okay. That's pretty ugly. All right. Uh, I go yep. five. Yep. Uh, this is fine. It's all it's all according to plan. Okay. So. So in this hand, I think I would bottom Vizier. And then this might. Oh, geez. This is tough. Um, you know what? I actually don't think it is Vizier. So we kind of need the card. Um. I think I want to bottom Grazer, and I think I want to bottom... Okay, so against normal Mono Green, I would bottom uh, Thespian Stage because of the Hope Tender here. Yeah. They have Bone Crusher Giant, which means we can't just count on this living. So given that they have red mana, I think I would bottom um, Hope Tender plus Vizier. And would, they, would they board, they'd probably board out Bone Crusher, right? Like, it seems pretty yeah, nice against Yeah, I, I guess that's true. Yeah, that's probably true. All right, so now I would um, I would probably bottom Thespian stage here. So they're, they're going to stop us 100% on turn two here. But um, All right, so so we think we want to keep Beseju, Odawar, Field, Vizier, Tender. Yep. Unfortunately, we have to use Beseju as a green source, but it wants to draw a green source, but that's kind of whatever. So, And then we're using Tender as our stage effect of like getting more Lotus Fields. Yeah. Okay. All right, so... Hydra Elves. And we draw a Temple of Mystery. That's a great draw. Okay, happy to play that one as our green source. All right, so Temple for... Temple for... This is why Arena is a superior platform, I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely right, not. I will not stand for that. Uh, I would probably keep Impulse on top. <laughs> okay, I like that too. All right, so and then we'll pass. I imagine we're looking to play any land but Besaju whenever possible. So like we do Odawar next turn, and then either Tender or Impulse, depending. Uh, probably just hope Tender, but yeah. Yep. All right, so second Hydra. Cure again. They have the, they have the Stone Cold Nuts again. They do not this time. No second Elf. Okay. Okay. Bobby's making a good point in chat. Bobby Fortinelli is a mono green expert. Says oh, that, that's true. That is true. Uh, so they Bobby might have a, it with might have a card to bring in to cut the bone crushers. Yeah. That's very fair. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. Well, we're going to find out, I guess. So we're going to yep. Odawara Just tender? Auto. Yep, I think so. Cast the freaking cards. Use the... I have two mana! <laughs> All right. So 
They have no red yet either, so hopefully no stompies here. And then this could untap our uh, Lotus Field in, 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 potentially, which is cool. All right, so they have Haven with Kiora, so they're definitely doing it. Okay. Okay, that's not a card. Yeah, really definitely. Happy to see any card that's not. Beat a card Danny in cards there. don't scare us that much, so. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, in theory, we could float to field, untap to, cast poor here, but is that. We could, yeah. That obviously means that this is gone for the next turn, and we're unlikely to actually go off. So. Um, or are we? Or I, I don't know, honestly. So, two mana down to one mana, four mana. Um, I think here I would be inclined to play Lotus and use Vizier to untap Lotus and then see what we draw off of Vizier. So we're going to float blue, green, play Lotus. Yep. And then do this with the uh, with the trigger on the stack. Do the untap? Yeah, uh, untap it with Vizier with the trigger on the stack. Okay. Uh, why? So that if um, there are a couple cards that we could draw here that would make us want to exert Hope Tender to untap Lotus Field plus uh, another land with this all on the stack. Oh, sure. Before, before we sack it. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if we want to use the exert yet, basically. Okay. All right. So we draw Sanctum. And now... Okay. So... It. So our options right now are to... We can float, untap, float, pour. And if we don't want to go there, we can just impulse. Uh, we do need to exert to be able to... Um... Correct. Yeah. Right? No. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, yeah, you're right, right. Yeah, so I, I would just let the trigger go and then cast four over the pages, I think. Okay. So we're going to go blue, 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 blue. Untap this. Pay the one. That's not the land. Blue, 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 blue. And pour it up. Yep. Why well, does it keep giving me priority back? Um, all right, so we're going to untap land. And, and then I got... think I would just discard the extra Seiju here and then plan to impulse end of turn. You said play an impulse at the, at the end of their turn, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So they missed their. Is... They, have, they have four spells in their hand. They missed, they missed, they missed mm -hmm. the land drop last turn. Two, four. I mean, they could have cast Karn plus Sphere last turn and didn't, so they don't have Karn, obviously. So, And then most other things we aren't really scared of. So. It's going to be a Storm. Okay. Uh, Dimster. Mono green matchup is favored for mono green, but it's it's definitely close. It's favored just because of Karn. Yeah. All right. So yeah, and against a really good mono green opponent, uh, I would float green in response to this and then besiege it. Um, against a really good mono green opponent, they will never keep all but the best hands that don't have a, a turn three Karn. They'll usually mulligan pretty aggressively down to five, and sometimes even four for Karn. All right. So take four, untap. A little lighter amount than we'd like to be, but yep. We, so, we, we, so we're now looking for a star to go with our Leer, right? Yeah, strings, attack, is, they strings Karn, is the best draw here. Huh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's rare they're going to win through damage here. So we have four mana, and then... Sorry, I don't have all of the heuristics with Hope Tender just down in my head yet. So Hope Tender is plus three mana, so we have seven here. Uh, so I, I think I'd... If we exert it, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm inclined to just start on Impulse and see if we can find the strings. Okay. I think that's where I was, too. Impulse. I don't know why he's giving my priority. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. All right. Big Lux. And kind of, I mean, the Vizier is obviously a rebuy, but so we're going to Vizier here? Yeah, I think I would just rebuy here. Okay. And then we're going to play Sanctum and then cycle and untap? Yep. So we're not sure what we actually want to do with our Hope Tender yet, so cycle this. Target here. 
draw a boreal and a boreal grazer. All right. All right. So here we have five mana, or we have six mana if we exert. Yes. Six mana doesn't really do anything for us, so I think that I would just. God, this is so bad. Yes, I mean they're gonna get they're gonna brain us next turn. If they brain us, can we win? Um. Yeah, we can win. Well. Well, they name the the masterminds, which can't win, right? That's true. Yeah. So we have to hope they don't do that. Um. Hmm. Our clock's a little low. Should we, should we scoop this game? Maybe go next game. Um. Yeah. That's that's fine. Okay. Like have, we, we can just like put Lear into play, but I don't know how far that's getting us. I would just what's supposed to do, I guess. As long as we like we just do something, I think I think it's like fine. Yeah. But... Yeah. Like if opponent plays correctly, um, we lose here. Yeah. But that was also true last game, so. All right, you're up, opponent. Go do your thing. Go get a. Uh, I mean, get like literally anything here, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. In, in this case, they should stone brain um, masterminds acquisition right now because they know it's our only. You know, our only way to uh, win the game. Yeah. At yeah. least pre-board. Even if they were to, like just to get like the freaking eight eight that like kills something and kill my hope tender. We still would probably struggle to like put together enough mana to, to win, but yeah, that would not put us in a good spot. Yeah. All right, Cavalier Thorns first. They milled over Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Bone Crusher. I guess a little more, a little more of a deck too. I guess Fable seems a little weird with Nick though. So, you know, like curious what they're not playing, honestly. They're playing Bone Crusher and Fable. I mean, they've now tapped. Oh, I'm sorry, they they put they put Nick those too. Yeah, we're we're just yeah pretty dead here. Yeah, they can flash back a storm at this point, and they can also just do whatever they want to do with this Karn. Yeah, if they flash back storm and they whiff, and you can't make any more mana, like then the Karn doesn't actually do anything. I guess mm -hmm. they could like yeah, get more script or something, but. And then if we untap, we we have a shot. But like, yeah, Karn just getting Tormod's Crypt is really really good. Yeah. Yeah, raced. I definitely agree that like we can win the game after our win condition gets extracted. But I think that in order for that plan to work, you need to have an extinction event in the main deck. And this list that we're playing right now doesn't have any extinction events, so we can't really get through very well with a layer of the Hydra. Yeah, I guess Hidden Strings tapping blockers is a thing, but that's a hard way to do it with only seven minutes on clock. That does sound like a lot of work. <laughs> all right, well, they're all, they're, I mean, they're in the freaking tank here, so. Cavalier mm -hmm. Thorns again, sure. Revealing more Fables, more Bone Crushers, more Nekthoses. So looks like they're not playing Oath of Nyssa. And then what else are they not playing? It looks like it looks like four Fable, four Bone Crusher. Hmm. Interesting. That's a lot of red cards. Yeah, right? Like. Alright, the Chain Veil. If they're I'm just gonna get seed. Whatever. Alright. Okay, sure. Alright, All right. so game three, same sideboarding on the play. Yeah, pretty happy with how we did that. Not yep. really interested in changing anything based on what we saw. So Fade Hope is primarily for, like, Thalia beatdown decks? Yeah, for the most part. Sometimes you bring it in if your opponent's, like, big on an Archon of Amiria game plan. Sure. Okay. Another so, one land Lotus Hand. This hand's pretty nah, bad. No, no sense keeping this. Yep. Uh, five. Got a five? Yeah, okay, just no, no way to... Find a lotus, sure. Yeah, no way to find a Lotus... Uh, okay. okay, yeah, I like this. All right, so keep um, this. We need a lot to go right. I would bottom probably Omniscience and Hidden Strings. Okay. And then just, like, hope that they don't have the early card. We're leading on know. Island? I agree, yeah. All right. The sand is definitely risky, but I think it's just kind of what we have to do. All right, they are on seven. It's like they're on oh. seven. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, they had turn one, elf turn two, QR two games in a row. They can't possibly have the third game. They yeah, no, no way. Work, so that is absolutely how the math works. Which doc? Thanks for reset. Appreciate that. 
Folks tuning in, welcome to the stream, folks. My name is Jim, of course. We got Connor on helping me out, learning some Lotus Field as I prep for the Pro Tour. Um, I had 15 decks, the top 15 decks in the format, all loaded up playing all the stock deck lists. Then I got to this one, and I was like, uh, I should probably call somebody in. So here we are, currently 1-0, waiting for our opponent to figure out their turn one. And uh, first, we hit that follow button, of course. Of course, give uh, give Connor a follow also. Connor, do you, do you stream? Not stream, no, but I no. do write articles for riwhobbies.com. There you go. So get the Twitter follow. Check out RIW Hobbies. And uh, links are actually in chat. Thanks to Mike. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and if you like, when we're in between games here, I can send you some links to some of the articles that have been written about Lotus Field in the past. One Sweet. from me and then one from my RIW teammate, Brian DeMars, if Sweet. folks are interested in learning what the deck's all about. Yeah, fire those in chat and then give them to me in Discord and then I'll put them in the uh, in the YouTube, YouTube description also. Yeah, you got it. All right. So we draw strings, which I go to you scrying for a uh, copy land here, right? Yep, that's right. So this is an article that I have written, and then this is on RIW's website about uh, from Brian DeMars. It's a little bit more recent. So feel free to check those out, folks, if Lotus Field is a deck you're interested in learning. Do they have the Kiora again? We said it was impossible, all right? It's not how math works. All right, clearly, so... Clearly not impossible. Um, okay, we're just fielding here, I guess. Yeah, and so there are some times when I would think about um, playing stage first because we could draw Vizier and just start going next turn. I would play Lotus here. Okay, so just Lotus Floyd, nothing as they go. Yep, and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that as they take their turn. But basically, on turn four, if we untap with the Lotus and then we use Vizier to go up one mana, so up to four mana, then we can copy Hidden Strings, our two Lotus Fields, and then cast Pour with the mana floating. All right, so five mana uh -oh. here. Do they have the Karn plus the thing? No, just the Cavalier. Okay, I guess they good. So anyway, so. All right, Cavalier. Revealing old growth and some lands. Not Nykthos. Happy okay. to see that. So no Karn, no Nykthos. Good start. We draw mm -hmm. a Seiju, which is a pretty nice safety valve, honestly. Absolutely, um, yeah. So now we're just playing here, I think so, yeah. Okay. So we get the copy. So if this is like the, the rampy draw... Without the the hate pieces, um, we should be in pretty mm -hmm. good shape here. Despite our five yeah. card hand, yeah, we get to see a lot of cards next turn. We can see potentially seven new cards next turn if they if they just let us do our thing. Should copy to play around Besaju. Oh, copy. Um, yeah, that's so reasonable. Copying copying main phase is an option there. The reason that I don't like doing that is because if they play. Um, if they do, sorry, uh, if they put Karn in play and Damping Spirits here, then we want to be able to besage you right away. That's fair. So I don't know if that's correct or not. It's just kind of a judgment call you have to make. Crowley won. Thank you. Appreciate that. I mean, Zax, it's like, that's definitely a legitimate line playing around besage you versus playing around Karn. I don't know which one's correct. I'm just explaining my reasoning for wanting to pass the turn here. Like, well, I, mean, like I don't think that I don't think it's ever 100% one way or another. Yeah, we, we know at present that they don't have Karn because they would have had it last turn, so they have to draw exactly Karn, whereas Besage, they like, could have had it in theory, but they only probably have, like, two copies, right? Maybe one or two copies. Honestly, with them playing the Red Lands, maybe they have less, but... Yeah, yeah, de that's definitely possible. All right, well, they... Uh, I don't uh, know if it's, like... They found the Nykthos... Here's the festival. This is turn four. And two floating exactly. Perfecto. Pretty good. The card. Okay. Well, sometimes you get got, you know? Sometimes they have this wrong the festival. All right, so... Yeah, opponent making the correct play here. Floating mana in response to the Cavalier trigger just in case yeah. they find another Nykthos. Thankfully, they do not. I love mono green. I think we're very dead here, but I love mono green. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of mono green, but definitely not for everybody. Cure again, okay. This one's feeling uh, a little more difficult. <laughs> so so they've me... already gotten the. No, they didn't use Karn yet. They didn't use Karn. Never mind. Now they're gonna use Karn. Nope. They can just so like chain mail kill us here. Well, if they get chain mail, we have the sage. That's true, I guess. We, we, we break them up and then get, we get our own shot at going for it. Potentially. They do get to activate Karn again, and then I guess they do put Damping Sphere in play, so... Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so that, that resolves, and then they're going to activate it and then activate Kiora. Or to Kiora yeah, I, first. I think... Let's let's besage your chain veil in response here. Right, because they only have four floating, and right. they won't have enough mana to actually use the Nekthos, so... Um, well... Right? Uh, no, because they're going to get an untapped land off of besage you. I think we're dead no matter... Oh, can, right, you activate, can you activate Chain Bail at instant speed or not? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then I, I think we're just dead no matter what we do. I would just fire it off on Chain Bail right now, but I, I think we're dead. Right, so you, you don't have Blank gets in the, the Nick this mana. So, close. I think Nykthos is also something that we could do there. Oh, hitting the, the Nykthos with the... Uh... When they still have four floating, and they just like, I guess they can't activate the veil and get the. Well, then they then they just get Karn and they get Stamping Sphere too, so they have yeah. the, the extra mana again. Yeah, no, hitting Nykthos is definitely. Yeah, I think we're dead no matter what we do. All right, yeah, well, you can just pack it up here probably. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fine. All right. They're, they're going right. to Damping Sphere us here, and then we don't really have a way out of that before they kill us. And that's right. they so kill. some pretty good hands, definitely for sure. And so, you, so I think I think it like is the kind of thing where like the upper end of the range just crushes us, not, not crushes, mm -hmm. but like is very good against us. And then if their hands a little more middling, then we're, we're in good shape. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And you know, believes that Lotus Field versus Is It Phoenix is the most lopsided matchup in constructed Magic. Uh, Lotus Field wins that one a lot. I mean, I could see it being good, but like they just have counterspells post board. They like they have game, you know. Like I don't think it's like gym counterspells aren't that good, man. Because you know what you you know what a good Lotus Field deck has? You're boarding in thought distortion. Sure, I, I, I'm not saying like well, they have counterspells they can't possibly lose. I'm just saying like yeah. there there has to be some deck that's like completely non interactive at like you know like angels or something. I don't, I don't know some deck that's just like much more you know non interactive and kind of just like you just do your thing over them, you know. Whereas like. I don't know, but all right. So uh, we're good here. We are on the yep. play. Punt Mulligan yep. six. Very happy to keep this hand. So um, I didn't look at it yet. So we're just templing here and then scrying for Lotus Field, right? Yeah. All right, scry it up. Bottom. We we do not want that one. Yeah. At this point, we're looking for hidden strings and pour over the pages. Forest. All right. All right. We got another green gamer. Yeah. Wonder if they're a reckless storm seeker gamer. All right, so we're gonna play stage or sanctum here. Oh, uh, I mean, play sanctum. sanctum. No, we have, we have, we have, it's like land, right? Uh, we're good. So I'll play, play sanctum. Start with scrying for field. Yeah. Yep. 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 One lotus field, please. Thank you very much. And then we'll have a decision to make next turn. Uh, we could always play stage and balaged the scrying back to our hand if we maybe want to. Um, Scry for Besaju at some point, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. That is that is an option that we have. Let's see how their turn goes here. Looking like it's not Kiora for once. So that's cool. Okay, happy to see that. All right. So probably no red cards either as an Othanissa. They reveal they reveal Karn though. That's okay, so they do reveal Karn. Not great for us. They only have five mana next turn, barring an elf here though. So. Yeah. Okay. So, this okay. is really challenging. So, they can't sphere us for two turns. So we do have at least we still have one more setup turn, but we're definitely lacking in like our mana generation cards right now. So, yeah, what's our uh, what's our plan here? Okay. Um, it's also like we have the Odawar in hand too. So like the Besaju, like it's cheaper but not necessarily necessary. Right. Uh, I think I'm inclined. So basically what I'm trying to decide here is do we want to pick up Sylvan Scrying and have access to that, or do we want to play Lotus Field this turn and be able to masterminds for our Terra Sunder next turn? Which one of those sounds better to you? Um, I mean, the, getting Lotus Field in play and then we're masterminding but not casting Terra Sunder versus stage recovery and then next turn Scrying Lotus Field. Mm-hmm. Um, so they'd be untapping with Lotus Field, two other lands, an, a land drop, and a Beseju, so we can 
Beseju copy, but then we're not really doing anything else. I honestly don't know. Um, I think that I would be inclined to pick up Sylvan Scrying here. Okay, so we're going to stage recovery? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think that we just really want to have access to Beseju this game. I don't know. I think we're unlikely to win, but... Yeah, we're, we're obviously lacking like the ability to like generate mana in some way. Mm-hmm. So, and that's like one of the few things that, that this scrying can't do. I guess like, you know they have Nick those too. It sucks. Yeah. Um. All right. So, this turn could definitely go badly for us. Yep. I think they're going to Karn. They're probably just going to needle either Besage or Stage. Yes, they they just get needle name Besage and then next turn get the they see. Although we do have the Odawar, which is kind of cool. So, I guess they like they we could get that with this too, but. Yeah, maybe we can do some stuff with the Odawara. We'll see what they get here. All right, let's see what they name. It's either going to be Stage or Beseju. I think we would rather they name Beseju. They could also God Pharaoh Statue next turn. That's also true. For sure. Uh, I think that God Pharaoh Statue, like, you're probably supposed to not play in your green decks anymore. Just the sideboard slots are so tight and Cityscape Leveler. Kind of fills a similar role, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's definitely possible. Yeah, that would be that would be really good. They name stage. Okay. So we untap, draw a temple. So we're gonna scry for Beseju, and now do you want to play an untap land so we have access to Beseju? Yeah, I think I would go island island scry for Beseju okay. off of island um, or off of stage sanctum. All right, so get our Beseju and just say go. Yes, sir. Obviously, it does think that our, we're face up here. You know, we're just like, they have a bunch of mana in a car, and we're like, you know, letting them know we're telegraphing our plays and like not really there yet on comboing either, but them's the breaks. What if you do? If you play Lotus this turn, you lose the game. Oh, it's a base stone oh, brain, the Lotus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Sure. Um,. I mean, either way, I guess the Masterminds is... I mean, either way, like... Nice stone brain, sure. Okay, so, yeah, we can, ju- we can just pack it up. I'm really sorry about that. Um, oh, it's just fine. It's I, been, uh, I haven't played on stream in about a year, so... Yeah, this this game seems pretty pretty hopeless anyway, so... Let's see what they name. All right. Name a card. Pick a card, any card. Let's see what they say. Opponents have done crazier things, so. They have. Now, if they were to name Masterminds here, I guess we're on the, like, copy layer of the Hydra Mm -hmm. (laughs) route to victory, possibly. That's our only way to win anymore. Yeah. Okay, they didn't name Lotus Field. We can can pack it up. We'll remember that for next game. Okay. So... Sand side boarding as before, we're going to bring in the uh, the Tender, the Asunder, the Rift, and the Needle. And just cut yep. the four, uh, cut the Multiverse, uh, two Impulses, and a Recovery, correct? Yeah, that's what I like. Cool, cut the Grind. Bring in some Anti-Hate cards, call it a day. All right, on the play. I do like being on the play. Ooh, it's a spicy hand. All right. Sand has some Anti-Hate cards. Uh, okay. okay. This is not too bad, right? This? No, not terrible. Let's keep this ship a razor. Yeah. And then just turn one, uh, turn one grazer into temple. I think. Pony keeps seven again. Pony's never mulligan, you know. All right, so I keep this ship the old. So grazer. I've uh, I've won some tournaments with Mono Green. I've made some deep runs in tournaments with Mono Green. You want to know the tournaments you win with Mono Green, Jim? <laughs> the ones you don't mulligan. <laughs> it's the ones where you keep a lot of sevens. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go uh, Besiege Grazer Temple here, right? Yeah. Grazer Buddy. Flash, flash, 100-yard dash. And we see a Leer to the bottom. Yep. Not particularly interested in that when we don't have all of our mana online yet. We don't have Tron assembled. Yeah. It is funny thinking about this, thinking about this like, as a Tron deck, like... It yeah. feels it feels like it would be like a storm deck, you know, a combo deck or whatever. But it, mm-hmm. it is it is somewhat definitely somewhat similar. Back with the uh, back with the underworld breach. Oh, that's a good draw. So now we just 
scrying for uh, stage playlist field. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Back with the um, Underworld Breach versions, it definitely felt more like Storm, where you could kind of go off from a lower base. Mm-hmm. But now you definitely like always need to get your six mana online. What was the kill at Breach? What, what were you like doing? Uh, you Tome Scoured yourself, and then put either Thassa's Oracle or Jason to play. Okay. So you're like more of like a Twiddle Storm deck, kind of? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so you would you would have um, one copy of Tome Scour in the sideboard. Sure. And so, like, each Tome Scour would, like, let you cast another Hidden Strings. That's pretty funny. Yeah. All right, so it's, it's Oath for awesome. Nykthos, another Oath. So a somewhat medium draw for our opponent here. They have no Kiora on turn two, and they mm-hmm. could have Karn, but they can't Karn for... They can't Karn next turn. Um... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. They find a Kiora. It's not too bad. So they have Kiora, and three other cards in hand. Yep. And in this case, I think that we will likely want to copy main phase right now just to play around the Seiju, like some folks said earlier. Okay. Because we know that they can't put um, Damping Sphere in play this turn, there's no reason to hold up the Seiju. Okay. All right. They can't, That's right? the old turn ski. Um... Yeah, there's no. I don't think there's any weird Nykthos stuff they could do. I mean, they only have three devotion right now. They play Kiora, play, and they have. If they went Elf, Nykthos makes four mana. Kiora, but they don't have mana to cast Kiora and activate Nykthos, right? They would. Yeah, that would be one short. Oh, that's a name. Assistimus. Thanks, Theresa. I appreciate that. You're great. Pile drivers. All right. Those Bezos dollars, very nice. Bezo box. Here comes the money. All right. Um, incom- Our chat's got us. Incoming Burning Tree Emissary to uh, make me eat my <laughs> words there. All right. So I played uh, Burning Tree Emissary Nykthos in an invitational, like in standards, like a mono red uh, devotion deck. That was sweet. All right. So Kiora untapped Nykthos. I guess I guess they didn't have enough mana. So they have four here. Sure. So, just a troll. Just a troll. Okay. No Karn. And then another Oath. All right. They're digging. So are we. So next turn, we're just looking for an action spell, basically. Yeah, I think so. Final um. Items. We're going to have some interesting decisions to make on our turn. I'm not sure exactly what we want to do yet if we brick here. All right. That's, uh, that's a bit of a brick. I mean, that's not, not even that much of a brick, though, because we can just stage and besage you, so... Yeah, so we got a couple options here. Um, someone in chat said that we could Balagad Recovery, the Sylvan Scry... Or we could just Balagad and put Temple of Mystery in play just to start digging for action. Um, that's one option that I think I might like, to be honest. That's better so than playing Stage Keeper Mana for next turn. So where I'm at right now is that if we play um, if we play Temple of Mystery here, then if we draw if we draw one of our Emergent Ultimatums, we can just cast the Emergent Ultimatum. Like we play Odawara, that's our second blue. Okay. And so I, I'm kind of more concerned about getting the action in play. Um, part of me really wants to besage you this Nykthos. So one, two, three, I say five, six, they have seven devotion at present. Cures a double tap. So you mm-hmm. want to recovery, temple, play temple, scry, see what it is, obviously, and then probably besage you of a Nekthos? I think so. And I think we've established no card at this point because they didn't, they didn't pull it off Oath. They played it last turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, like, clear no no Karn and probably no path to Karn. Unless they drew it off a troll or off a draw step. So right. I think so player on Karn is I... not, a, not a choice you can make right now, so... Yeah, our way of playing around Karn is by saying that you are more likely to Karn us off of Storm the Festival, so let's make sure that you don't have mana after you cast Storm the Festival. Love it. Okay, yeah, man. Sweet. So let's, let's recover Temple, play Temple, and then go from there? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. All right, cast on Temple of Mystery. Play the Mystery Machine. Mm-hmm. Top card is a Hidden Strings. Unfortunately, that's mana, not action, so we got to bottom this, right? Agreed. Let's bottom that. And then we're going to just main phase Besager here. Yeah, I think so. 
I guess it might technically be correct to do it in draw step, but we're not actually gaining equity that way. Sure. Um, yeah, I guess in theory they could, like, if they had their hands actually all air, they could, like, fire up the layer of a Hydra in response. That's true. I guess yeah, yeah. so. All right. Also, some F6 value here, too, like that. Absolutely. All right. Ship it to RNZ, looking for some action. Lots of mana, all dressed up, nowhere to go. And then even if they Karn and put Damping Sphere into play here, even if they drew that off of their troll, we can play our stage and then Odawara it end of turn and then give ourselves one turn to find some action. Okay. So they play Farce, so that's good. So no no, no recovery or no uh, no replacement Nykthos. That's yep, six mana natural though for a... I guess they have seven with Kiora, but for a Storm mm -hmm. possibly. Haven's mana neutral, so... Yeah, still seven mana here. So if they storm into Karn plus a land, we're in trouble. Yeah. All right, do your thing. Yeah. Show us. Looks like five. They could Cavalier into a Nykthos, then untap the Haven and then Nykthos for uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. It's ten. It's a lot. They have the Karn ski, though. Jeez. Okay. So Drew, I said Drew Karn, probably off draw step or the old growth troll. Mm -hmm. Which stinks. And they have not used their Kiora yet. Correct. So we are getting Damping Spirit here. Which is actually means... like that bad, right? Because we still have to stage Odawara. I guess like they're going to brain us next turn. So the, the double tutor on Karn is like the real killer, I guess. Yeah, so basically what this means is that our window is just incredibly shortened. We have two draw steps to find action, and we need to hope that it's action that Stone Brain doesn't take us off of. Yeah. Um... I guess we could draw exactly beside you. Actually, that made a middle action, I guess. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let's see what we draw. Yeah. Obviously. All right, so... Um, okay. All right, so we're uh, staging and oh. saying go and then hoping they screw up with, with Karn, I suppose. Yeah, pretty much. All right. All righty. Pass the old turn ski. That is, that is action. Yeah, so this game was more like I feel like they've had some pretty good draws. Like, this game felt more like our draw just was like a little light on action and gave them the extra turn or two to kind of put it all together because they didn't have Karn on like two key turns they could have had it, and now they have it like two turns late. But we were also late mm -hmm. to the party, so yeah, agreed. And you know sometimes you just have to keep hands like that that you know have the setup and do get the mana in play, but just need to draw action at some point for sure. Um. We do still need to get lucky here, even if even if they mess up and don't. Um, basically, even if they do nothing with their Karn here, we still need to draw an untapped land to be able to cast this ultimatum right. or a mana source. So we, have, we have green, 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 black, 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 or blue, 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 and then and then blue, or whatever, one red and blue. So, yep. Every resub, thanks so much. Three year resub, thank you. That's great. Hot damn, three years. That's three some years. loyalty. We got some long subs in chat. It's actually pretty insane. Uh, that's, I've been, that's really I've been cool. partnered now for like five or something years, so like there's some like five year mm -hmm. chat badges that make me go, let me go crazy. I mean, it says a lot about the good work you've been doing, right? No, I mean my community is the act, the actual best. So it's, it's, it's yeah. some of my long my long term viewers. I mean, like I had two of my mods at my my uh my baby shower I came down. Oh, from, awesome! Yeah, so like super best community ever. Not even close. Love to see it. All right, so they bring us, and we're trying to concede. So all right, so well, definitely hold up, hold up, hold up. See what they name. All right, sure. And I think it's I think it's really important like for for your average player to look at a game like this and like it those few games before this felt pretty bad because it kind of just nut drew us that's fine this game it could easily you could easily walk away from this game like oh crap they got us again so lucky but like this game was a much different game texture wise you know there were there was a two turn window where like they kind of didn't do that much and gave us a window but we didn't have it our, our own stuff as well so that was the draws lining up kind of like in there you know like where we were two turns behind and so were they I think our our average draws we, 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 we win this game a lot of the time. Would you agree? Absolutely. All right, so yeah, Stone Brain, so. and they chose... They chose Balligan Recovery. Uh... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give some lessons to y'all in chat. Uh, Race said this earlier, but I'm going to say it out loud. You should usually be naming Hidden Strings. You should usually be naming Hidden Strings with your Stone Brains. That's the best way to shut off the Lotus Field player. And make if you're going to name Recovery, why don't you get Tormont Script? Or something, no you know? Point. All yeah. right, so I mean, so you're telling me there's a chance. There, there is a chance. All right. We got a shot here. In for uh, here come the beats. 
I mean, I I guess, yeah. Stunned? A little stunned right now. And they they see our hand too, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I say they know we they know we have so two cards yeah, left. I was I was honestly hoping they would name like Beseju there, just to try to protect their damping sphere. But yeah, this also gives us a chance. Oh my Let's god! Let's hope we can capitalize. All right, so we're gonna end step bounce this bad boy. All right. Yeah. Do you do you have any like any chat commands or anything that people spam when we're trying to trying to rip a land off the top? Uh, I got my drum roll. We can run the drum roll. Okay. Chat, a little hype in chat. We have to have some hype emotes. We can do that. Chat, energy time. Let's go. All right. Let's show show them how we do it here in the old pile driver stream. Are we ready? Hype in chat. Drum roll, please. Could copy and not die next turn. I guess I can't corn next true. turn too. So that's true. But whatever. Drum roll yeah. anyway. Here we go. The draw step. Not quite. All right. Quite so. Dead. Damn. So in theory, we can't, we actually can, well, we get scrying for like a Beseju here and yeah, then stage so also. Here's what I would like to do here. I would like to tap one Lotus Field to get a Beseju and then um, use the floating mana from the Lotus Field and the Temple of Mystery right. to copy uh, Lotus Field. How do you name Balagad Recovery? <laughs> All right, so get, get a Beseju. Yep. Take the mana. We copy this. All right, yep. and we're and now off to the races because they only have two cards left. And if that, the best they could do last turn was attack and play Atlanta Rolf. Like, you know, just saying. Yeah. And so we're, this is actually could be really good for us here that we didn't ever chump block this old growth troll because we are not dead on board to this layer of the Hydra now. Right. If we had chump blocks, we might be dead on board to this layer at some point. All right. Chat says scrying is lethal. You can filter it into blue mana. Um, um, we have three, six, seven. I don't think so. We so need to spend two. Tap, we tap temple. I, I can't think of how. Yeah, because you can't tap. You can't tap field, field, and island for ultimatum. So we we, we would tap stage and temple for scrying, and then we have. We play some land untapped, and we have field, field, like island or whatever, or breeding pool or something like that, and that isn't good enough, right? Right. So we'd have black, 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 green, 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 blue, or whatever. So, all right. Here's Nick, though. It's ten mana. A Boreal Grazer might be the hero we need, but not the one we deserve. Definitely not. All right. I guess we have the the Besaju in theory, which could hit the Nick, though, or the, or the layer as well. But yes, I guess the. Like one more turn to draw an answer to the damping sphere, but yeah. they are almost certainly going to play the damping sphere here. All right, they've wait. All right, we, we, we bounced the sphere. We didn't kill it, right? I forgot about. It. Yeah, yeah. Right now, Karn's on one, um, so they can't get anything off Karn. So yeah, so if they plus Karn, then next turn they can minus Karn for a stone brain. Nissa, that's four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight. That's eleven. That's so Nissa legal. activation plus Damn. mana kills us. Oh, Although if wow. they tap out for it, and then we besage you with a layer, and then it'll matter to play the the thing, perhaps. Yeah. Let's see what they do. You know, what are yep. we gonna what are we gonna do? Wow, this is this is brutal. Alright, there's the epic sphere. I mean so yeah, if they funnel they have lethal if they funnel all the mana into layer. And mm -hmm. I guess it's like honestly not a crazy mistake to make because you would think that the green card usually kills non-creature things. But because it just says destroy target land, it can still kill it as a creature. Oh, Jim, we, we needed to float green mana there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> all right. Um, let's hope that somehow they don't attack with all of their creatures. And yeah. then we can untap and besage you and have drawn a way to make mana. All right. All right. Uh, make a 14-14. Yep. Uh, I mean, if Grace is a legend in my book, personally, but absolutely. All right, so like, yeah, 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 that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's eleven. All right, so yeah. Um, and they tapped the forest is untapped for two though. So yeah, we we couldn't. Yeah, so either way, we couldn't win anyway because like the sphere, we can't kill the sphere and the layer. So right, yeah, we we were dead no matter. And what this is also our last Besaju too, so we can't even drop Besaju and then whatever. So all right, they got us. 
and Nissa there being a haste threat is really really good. People yeah, very surprising. Well. Not yeah, absolutely not an expected thing. So, all right. I mean, we shouldn't even be in that game in theory. So that's all right. Yeah, for sure. Win the die roll on the play. Do enjoy being on the play. Um. Okay. Um. I mean, this hand might have to sacrifice a stage. But that's fine, right? That's okay. So we're going to keep this hand. And what I look at when I see this hand is if we don't find another land, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to impulse for a land. And then our turn four will consist of um, having a Thespian stage plus two other lands in play, mm -hmm. playing Lotus Field, and then copying it with the Sacrifice Trigger on the stack. Okay. So again, it's the same, same idea where like, we're not trying to turn four. So like the setup, the setup can just be field copy and then go off on turn five. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And impulse, because we have more card draw in this hand, impulse can just be, okay, go and get a land and the land yeah. is just being sacrificed. All right. Point ball against a six. The, uh, the little MTG bot goldfish last seen deck is Slesney angels, uh, as of one day ago. So a fairly high, fairly high mm -hmm. chance of playing angels. Angels should be a pretty good matchup, you know, depends on how they build their deck. Uh, I think that a good Angels player can gain a lot of points just by mulliganing more. I played against uh, I played against Ivan at Championships, and he was on uh, Angels as a favorite deck of his. He tried to get me to play it at the RC, but he mulligans to four in our game one just because he knew that I was on Lotus, and he told me my five, my six, and my seven were all keeps against any other deck in the sure. format. They just didn't play it two drop. They just weren't fast enough. Right. Yeah, I so almost played Angels at the RC also, actually. I ended okay. up playing the uh, the Crackling Drake Fable in their burger deck. Oh, that's a fun one. Yeah, that, that was sweet. How did, it, mm -hmm. how did it end up for you? Uh, I was like 6-1. I, like I lost my last two, and then I went okay. like 1-1 one, one on day two, and I was like dead for basically everything, so I just dropped. Yeah, like as soon as you got your got fourth loss, yeah. I think, like... Not only were you dead for the invite, you were also just dead for any prizes. Yeah. So, all right. So, so we're gonna stage an impulse here, right? Yep. Uh, I would impulse main phase just in case they're on some sort of blue deck that'll censor us. Oh, okay. So, like, they're actually playing blue eye control. If we're not, we're not assuming they're playing angels. Yeah. Sure. Which I don't think is super likely at this point. Sure. You know, based on basic planes, but you the know, old whiskey. All right, I would take another impulse and try to use impulse to find another land. The hold rebuy. All right. Yeah. Go again. All right. Yeah, raced. I agree. They essentially have to kill us on turn four, which is very difficult to do. But okay, so they they are angels. All right. This hand is like almost a guaranteed turn on uh, turn five win. All right. There's the old GG. Mm -hmm. And we untap and draw a second stage. So that's okay. the land we want because like we don't need two stages anyway. So yeah, exactly. So in this case, I would uh, impulse, and then I would probably just play the Lotus Field. Okay. Let's take a little looky loo. There's our ultimatum. Yep, that makes it. Ultimatum, yeah, right? ultimatum just makes it deterministic as soon as we get to that mana. So I would just take ultimatum, play Lotus. Cool. And then it's possible that we win if we find um, another strings next turn, or if we find a vizier, but. Very likely to just win the game on turn five. Cool. They being on the play here is super clutch too. All right, so on their, their best possible draw, I mean, angels can kill probably on turn, I guess turn five, so the fastest, right? I guess like a good I, company on four. I think so. I think it might have to be like a really, really busted company on four into yeah. like having three of Righteous Valkyrie in play, but I, yeah. I'm not sure exactly how the math breaks down. All right, so four for Resplendent, untap. There's our there's a pour. Um, so we hold on to. Can we yeah. stirrings or strings? Stirrings. Can you strings first. Float two, untap. That doesn't work. Um, give me give me a second to do the math on this, will you? Sure. So if we have four mana here, strings puts us up to six mana. Um, and then we go and get another, we go down to one blue mana floating, dark petition for strings, have three mana floating, untap, um, then we have blue, or then we have black, black floating after that, and then that, um, 
yeah, we just we just put stage and play and copy here. Yeah, because like we're not gonna die next turn anyway. So like unless they're playing like a main deck Redain or something like really sneaky, like we're pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just doing the math on if we could um, if we could copy and pour by getting Dark Petition into Hidden Strings. Yeah, it, it feels like we're close. You know, like we strings first, untap, then maybe you know maybe like we pour once, then untap, and then copy, and then untap or something like that. But yeah, I think we're probably pretty safe here. So uh, I would I would copy main phase. Uh, re just in case. You. Yeah, just in case I have to save you. All right, pop it up. All right. Kill me, we say. Yep. And, yeah, I think it's, like, obviously very low odds that we die here, but, you know, in that match earlier against Mono Green where Raced did find a lethal on board that I missed, I, I just like to check, you know? Not for sure, yeah. All right, so company, uh, even, like, double resplendent, they would be what, four sixes? And they would they would both turn on, but even then it's still eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's only, it's only 14. Ooh, Single man. Bishop of Wings. In, uh, in my friend group, that's a, we call that a Nam company. What's that? Nam is, uh, my friend Nam is just very unlucky off of his collecting company <laughs> hits. All right, so, and we just untap, and now we're just doing our thing, which is pretty easily, right? Yeah. So. yeah, I wouldn't even bother casting the pours. I would just cast strings into ultimatum, floating right. blue and black. So blue black untap. And yes, and yes, and no. And now we're just casting ultimatum. Right? Green and diving. Yeah, you don't even need to float mana off this okay, one. Sure. Alright, so ultimatum. We're getting omniscience. Um omniscience. Mm -hmm. Uh and then petition behold, right? Right. So, get these three. Dan, if you do, Dan, if you don't. If they don't give yep. us an omniscience, so we can still go get it by making mana and tutoring for it. If they do, we just cast our hand and kill them. So, Exactly. Uh, the only important thing here, uh, Omni, Dark Petition, Poor is faster. Sure. Um, I, haven't, I haven't played this deck enough recently to know Less how to clicks? How about there. zero clicks if they just packed it up? There we go. Zero clicks is good. Opponents will often just concede, which yeah. is very, very kind of them. Sweet. All right. So, All right. Um, I imagine we're hoping here in the face of possible Redain. I agree. Uh, and in the face of Archon of Amiria. So I'd bring in yep. all of the bounce spells. Uh, I would probably bring in Hope Tender just for speed. I think this is magic yeah. where we want to go fast. And then I would bring in Terra Sunder as an answer to... Um, ah, yes, the... To the, the enchantment. Deafening silence. Yeah. You yeah. got all the fading hopes. I think so. I think okay. I, I think it's just like if we ever cast it on a righteous Valkyrie, it's probably just time walk. Okay, and then what's uh, what's coming out here? Um, so we need two more cuts. I think we're fine to just cut a couple of Viziers because we're bringing in the Hope Tender. I like having four of just kind of like the speed us up um, effect. Okay. And so two Viziers, two Hope Tenders is a fine place to be. Cool. Let's do it. Yep. And one thing that I will say about this list is if you're building Lotus lists in the future, definitely want to make sure you include a couple of sweepers. A couple of sweepers, said? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, um, I would probably mulligan this hand. just doesn't have a Lotus. If, if the impulse is a scry, we keep, right? It's close, but yeah, I think so. Because yeah, then we're just like throwing Grazer Land, turn to impulse, or turn, turn to scrying Lotus, tax sack two, and then we're in like pretty good shape. Yeah, I mean, like, we, need, we still need to find some stuff. But. That's true. That's true. Okay, so we're going to mulligan there, right? Yeah. All right, mulligan into... That one's pretty awesome. stinky. Yep, we're going five. five. That's okay. Yeah, like this This is the Lotus experience. You mulligan until you find a good hand like this. All right, so we keep this and ship the Masterminds and... I would put the... Um, we're on the draw, right? Uh, we are on the draw, yes. And our opponent okay. is cap seven. Okay, so what I'm going to have us do here is I'm going to have us bottom the breeding pool. And the reason that we're going to do that is if we don't draw another land on turn one, this Balligan recovery can just be a land. But if we do draw a land, then we might want to recur something uh, in the future. And then if we do end up sacrificing it, it's good to have in our graveyard just for spell mastery reasons. Cool. Love it. All right, there's your needle. Still name, probably stage, right? Probably. 
probably, yeah. First one stage, second one's probably either Besaju or Vizier or something, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So we're going to untap and draw a stage, obviously. Um, we always draw the needle every time, so. Yep. All right, so now we're going to so, hold this recovery and play Sanctum. Yes, yeah, I would do that because we don't mind sacrificing the extra stage to yep. the Lotus Field now. So how, how much does the needle turn us down? Assuming we, assume we never turn us down. Slow us down, assume we never remove it. So it turns us down, it slows us down by a lot. This hand is lucky in that we can hard cast Vizier. And so That's true. hard casting Vizier just means that we don't we don't really need the stage. Hey. <laughs> I right, say so we don't need the stage, field. and then we just keep drawing them. Those fields say go. Yep. Oops, all stages. All right, so, I mean, I feel like there's not too much to think about here. It's like they're playing 2-4. You know, they could maybe have a Redain deciding if they want to, like, apply more pressure first or whatever, but... Right. And in this case, definitely it's safe to just get the pressure in play, I think. Correct. All right, so untap, and we draw another Lotus Field. Perfect. That's pretty good because that, that means that the, uh, the, the needle is, like, almost irrelevant now because we just have Double Field and Vizier. So mm -hmm. are we casting vizier here off a of stage or are we just playing a field and so, so here's, next turn. here's where i'm at um we got a few different options i think we're going to play lotus field this turn just to give us some optionality basically if we draw besage you for um or like a sylvan scrying so that we can besage you with this pithing needle we want to have the vizier to be able to go one card deeper and so i think that if we want to play uh, Vizier, playing Vizier this turn or next turn is essentially the same thing. Okay, so we're just going to field sack two as I go? Yeah, so one thing that we could do is we could Vizier untap Lotus Field and then cast Balligan Recovery. I don't really... We might just want to do that. So doing that, it, gives, it puts us plus one card and puts the second spell in the graveyard? Yeah, and then we probably just put the Vizier back in our hand. So it's essentially just using Balligan Recovery as zero mana draw a card. Yeah, and it, it's it's spell masteries too, I guess, which is like might matter, but yeah, it definitely could. Sure, okay, I, I, I like that. I think so. We're okay. gonna flow two, field, cycle. Uh, it's not really a good look with Balagan recovery, but I think it's necessary with. Sure, yeah, our hand's pretty airy right now, so just drawing cards yeah. be reasonable. Yeah, drawing three redundant lands. How about a grazer? Where we right, want to be? So... I don't hate grazer. Let's like these two. I guess with our hand being so landy, it's actually not that bad. Uh, so, and then we're going to recover. Are we going to so we're, so we're still recovering here? I think we're still recovering here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. It spends the mana better, too. So, let's do this. We're going to make, mm -hmm. make back our Vizier. Yep. And same go. Would recurring Sylvan Scrying to get Besaju not be that bad? Um, I think with two Lotus Fields, like, we don't really need Besaju. Right, like, like our bottleneck right now is like action, not mana, right? So the only reason that we would really need to sage you here is if we're terrified of damping spear. I think that with the way our hand is set up, if they have damping spear, they got us. Like, I don't think that we can sacrifice anything to play around that. Um, who, in your guys' opinion, is the best MTG player on the circuit today? If we're talking about either the professional circuit or the um, Magic Online circuit, I believe the answer is very clearly Nathan Stoyer, the reigning world champion. He's, he's a champ. He is. If only you know, he did a whiff on that. Oh, up, up a What's match that? in the finals. Killer. Oh, oh, Rest man. in oh, peace. Oh, wow. Glad Good thing we, we catched in that, uh, in that recovery, absolutely. huh? Yeah, and obviously winning worlds is incredible. My opinion of Nathan is really high because as someone who has tried to qualify for the mocks for a long time now, it's hard to do. And the fact that he's qualified for that event like five times over is just bananas. That is crazy, both in skill and in dedication, too. Like, it's oh, so, yeah. many, so many Absolutely. events, right? Yeah. All right, so we're just casting Vizier. 
Rush is probably going to play Stage, Cast Vizier, Float a Green. Oh, I can't do that. Never mind. Um, no, nah, so what we're going to do is we're going to Shock Breeding Pool, yeah, Cast okay. Vizier, Cast Grazer, put Stage in, I think. Yeah, I, I was trying to see if we could not shock it in, but we can't make blue and green, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of the either four or five Mox events that Nathan's played, he's won two of them. That's wild. He's just so good. All right. Um, so. If you want to ask me about the NRG series which is what I primarily play on these days, I would say the answer is Raja Suleiman. I think that he is the best player without... He's one of the best players without a Pro Tour top eight right now. He, he won, right? He won the, won the Players' Champs? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. did. And he was... Um, I think there were like eight. So they had eight people commentating, and they, they asked every commentator for their picks. He was three of the picks. Yeah. And was the only person to have multiple people bet on him. I do miss the, SG, the SG tour a little bit. Seeing the energy stuff reminds me of like the early oh, days yeah. of the SG tour. It's, it's pretty cool. So, all right, so they swing back. They, we we, we can just hold back here. We're still at still at nine, which is pretty safe. Yeah, so have, yeah. I think I think we can afford to not block here. Yeah, and they don't get an angel off this thing, which is great too. And they only have one card left. So this feels pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I mean we we got to draw something, but yeah. if we find like a four here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're just going to play that, play Lotus Field, and just say go, I guess. Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> like, if we if we draw, like, pour into Vesaju plus some stuff, Lear might actually be good. Yeah, uh -huh. I agree. Like, we, we might as well put it in the battlefield, but... All right, so... Lear, field, sack these two, just say go. So, raced... I was definitely hesitant to cast Vizier there, but... Even once we find a gas, if we don't have two Lotus Fields in play, then we just can't really win with the Needle. So that's, that's that was my reasoning for wanting to get the Vizier out there. Like, yeah, it's one less card that we get to see, but yeah, you're right that we would have two Lotus now. I guess maybe the Grazer, I, I think the Grazer probably changes that, actually. Yeah, I could see it being correct. To hold. Oh, that's fair. So we, we decided to cast the Vizier and then drew the Grazer and like didn't like adjust our, our priors or whatever. Oh, uh, no, nah, no. Nah. We cast them both on the same turn. Right, but they, they, we, 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 like, drew the Grazer. We, we, like, we, we bought back Vizier with the plan to cast it. And then yeah, we drew yeah, the Grazer yeah. and, like, didn't really, like, update, like, like our, our thought process. So Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're going to block the Respondent here because yes. uh, we're dead otherwise, right? So Okay. And yeah, then, that's uh, right. We take five. They can... I assume, I assume they, have, they have no spells out there. They'll just pop and make an Angel. So, yeah. So, we go to three, and this is it. This is the turn. And unfortunately, we draw. No, we can draw ultimatum here too. So, ultimatum would be great. Um, pour over the pages would be great. All right, here we go. Do a drum roll again. Chat, help me out. Show how the pile drivers do it. A little bit of hype and chat. Get a little vibe going. Tear some triggers. And, gain some life. Don't really care. And this is where I'm a really big fan of having some sweepers or even an Ugin the Spirit Dragon in your deck. Ooh, I like Ugin. All right, <laughs> drum rolls on. Here we go. Uh, no. Okay. We are over two on drum rolls today. That's yeah. so sad. Yeah, they don't usually go that well, honestly. But, <laughs> but uh, it's good TV. All right, let's go to game three here. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right, so the needle. It's funny because like needle didn't really do that much that game. Um, the actually the rest in peace uh, with us drawing the leer, we had. I guess we only did that that much in our graveyard. We just had the scrying and the recovery. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, I mean that game was just we didn't draw very much gas, so I think I would, would do what we what we did and just try to draw some gas. Cool. Definitely could have thought more about the um about the vizier thing though. For sure, yeah, I think I think it's very reasonable, honestly, that like we just have enough mana mm -hmm. anyway, we can just like load there. So Blaine, thanks for resub, appreciate that. Also, um Zony Bro, thanks for resub. Alright, this hand's great, right? We go just Grazer, Besage you, Island, Scrying, right? This is good, right? Yes, I would keep. Okay, cool. Sorry. No words. So yeah, we have we have Seiju, Grazer, put in Island, and then Scrying yeah. for Lotus Field and play it. And then we have the stage and the and the card draw and the bounce off for the hate card too. And Besage, we have Besage, we're gonna play it, but so Besage. Basically this is basically everything we want. Yeah. And islands and ship it. Um, I actually don't know the answer to that. Oh wow! We, we, we punted actually. We could have we yeah, could have uh, just... fading hoped our own 
uh, Vizier. Okay, sure. It's just it's just target creature. That's really good to know. Yeah, I, I, I also totally like them as well. <laughs> Man, oops, streaming's hard, you know. That's what I was trying to say really like, to try to absolve myself of guilt, you know. Yeah, um, <laughs> otherwise, I would, you know, cry myself to sleep every night. So, all right, so we're gonna scrying for field play it and just say go. Um, I think so. We could we could have played Hope Tender there though. Um. I'm not sure which one's correct. I, I think it might have been correct to play the Hope Tender. So play play Tender with the intent to uh, top like like play Stage plus Tender. Like grab, grab your Lotus Field, but we could yeah. play the Stage plus Tender and then next excuse me next turn just done the same thing. Okay. Bobby. Uh Jim. Oh Jim, you just showed your uh your your super green with this deck, man. You got to get in your attack. I get in. Listen, you I've got I've got dozens of a Boreal Racer attacks on my ledger. All right, I've cast a lot of Boreal Racers in my day, and he's gotten in a number of times. I'm giving I'm giving him a break this time, you know. Okay, fair he's, enough. He's, fair he's enough. just he's just hanging out. <laughs> right. He knows he's going to be on blocking duty later, so got to save his energy. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you know, he's I, I, he's he's got a few, you know, he has a little like notches on his like wing or whatever, you know. So yeah, okay. all right, so we yeah, got I'm poor. Right. Um. I guess we're just copying here, right? Yeah, I, I think you're. I think you're right. Play tender is probably better because now we're like short amount of here, short amount of there. Probably never casting it. So yeah. So I would play stage and say go here. And basically, the reason I want to do that is I want to be able to um, do something like if they play a damping sphere here, yep. I want to be able to cyclonic rift it basically. Yep. Um, it's a little worse into Besaju. I'll, I'll say that, but I don't think they're usually... Yeah, they usually have one or zero, so... And if they do that with this Hope Tender, we are fine. Yeah, Deafening Silence doesn't matter here. Okay. So we still, we still copy still here, and then... Yep. Not even gonna attack. Wow, right. coward. Alright, so... They've got five cards in end. Mm -hmm. Um, we so poor generates one mana. We could in theory like poor and then rift, right? Uh, well, no, we can't because rift would be the second spell. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of the Amix here. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. Right. Um. Okay. So, do we just like tender and then rift on their turn? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I'm do that. Tender. And like, what's the worst thing that can happen here? Like, maybe like Redain or something. Yeah, Redain wouldn't be great. We also can um can just like not rift, and then and on then the next turn use Tender yeah, and then yeah, overload, overload it. it. Yeah, definitely. All right, just guess company, and not hit Redain, I guess. But <laughs> ooh, the, the old Kayla's for one. Oh man. I wouldn't even do that out of respect for the game. You know, you just, just say go four mana up. Like, all right, KOs for one. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely could have played a poor there. That's true. I'll play poor and then play Hope Tender. Yeah, I don't know if that's correct, but it's definitely an option. Yeah, the thing is that then we can't end step Rift. So yeah, like... we can't. Poor, poor would untap the two lands. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, oh, have... we could. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, you're right. My yeah, bad. yeah. Um, yeah. It shows Zakama Primal Calamity. Okay, yeah. Right. Fair enough. That card is not in our deck. All right, so once we end step here, we, the game's just over, right? We just bounce Silence and win. Because they're tapped yeah. out, so pretty we don't even need to. We don't even need to play the pours. Like, we can just exert Hope Tender. Yep. Cast the ultimatum. Um, actually, we do need to play the... Oh, wait, no, we have a Sylvan Scrying down there. We have we have Spell Mastery, so... Oh, uh, yeah, we do. So, we have Sanctum now, too, so... Yep. Like, I would play Botanical Sanctum and just do the thing. All right, so we got green, 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 black, black, black. Uh, we'll exert this, I guess, whatever. Target these two using the black. And then we go blue, blue, blue. Ultimatum. We get Behold, Petition, and Omniscience. Right? Behold, Petition, Omniscience does win here. Yep. Right. I'm, like, trying to sound confident, but I'm, like, you know... Still yeah. working through it, but and now if they give us omniscience, we win the game. If they don't give us omniscience, we, we just find it with the other cards. So, oh. and each pour is worth one mana plus one mana. Also, they give us sure. So we cast omniscience. This is like the easy way, right? The omniscience and the tutor. Like, 
Oh yeah, and then the tutor just gets behold to be on, and then we just yep. get whatever we want. So, oh shit, sorry, it's my priority. So, petition gets uh, behold, which will tutor for the masterminds and the the uh, re regrowths, right? Yeah. Okay. So get that. Play this. Play this for free. And we get the masterminds, a, and a regrowth, dark. And, and dark petition. Petition, sure. I am finished searching. Thank you. Yes. And then we go on our sideboard. Get approach. This is the first time we actually like first. win the game. We haven't actually like won the game yet. Yeah. So All we're, we're like two hours in. This is how you actually win the game. <laughs> so approach second son. So we're gonna cast without paying. Search outside the game, and go get approach the second son. Cast that for free, and then cast dark petition for free, and then go get hmm, approach. And then what should we get here? Look at that. We did it. We won the match. We Sweet. sure did. All right, Connor ran to the bathroom. I'm on my own for the first uh, minute here. Connor's gonna come back like the meme, like the whole place, like walks through the pizza, the whole place is burning. But all right, so we're gonna mulligan us no lander and mulligan into we got Sanctum Stage Grazer. No direct way to find a Lotus Field. So I, I think we're supposed to mulligan this, even though it looks kind of good. Um, impulse, we're on the play. This is actually pretty uh, pretty close. I don't know. You can keep this one. I, it, it doesn't have a way to find Lotus Field deterministically, but it's got a lot of looks. It's got turn one Grazer, put in a second Sanctum, and then turn to Impulse, and then find Lotus Field. Vote a friend! You could stall for a little bit or run an ad, you know. Uh, Race, what do you think? We got a, we got a few, uh, a few uh, Lotus Field Maestros. No, 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 yes. No keep? No, you keep. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I, think I like the keep here. I'm down. I'm down. I'm a, I'm a gambling, gambling man a little bit. So we're going we're gonna to keep this and dump the, I would assume the petition would be the uh, the dump here. So keep this and dump petition. And we're going we're gonna to drive. I can drive this car. I can drive this car. I'm good. I'm good. Green. Grazer. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> I was saying, I like the, like the, uh, the meme with like the, the guy walks in with the pizza or whatever, and the whole place is burning, but they were good here. So I was a little iffy because we didn't have a, a determinist way to find the Lotus Field, but Race likes it in chat, so. All right, and uh, pass the old turn ski. All right, I'm unmuted now. Uh, sorry, I was... Oh, you were talking there for a second? That's cool. I, I do it all the time. <laughs> for a second. Yeah. Um, would you like my thoughts on this hand? Yeah. I usually do mulligan these unless they have a second impulse, but god damn it. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully there's playing the red green deck, you know? Hopefully. Um, but I don't know if that's correct. I know that, like, you know, Raced is very good with Lotus Field, and I know that Kane Reinhardt also usually keeps these hand. Kane is a better Magic player than I, and so I'm very willing to accept being wrong about wanting to mulligan that hand. Yeah, I think there's, there's an element of having, like, some faith in your deck for sure, you know, where it's just like, we're seeing yeah. a lot of cards here, like, and, like, we get impulse into a scrying or another impulse or whatever, so... So we're going to impulse Absolutely. here, and then the fail state is playing Temple, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, and... I think things like that are very close. Okay. Uh, okay, um, so... God, do we want to take this pour over the pages? It's not a good look. Yeah, I mean, we have no actual action, so you probably just need to, right? We could also take Besaju to line up for their potential Karn, but I think it should be pour over the pages. The here. problem is then we're looking for a field and action. Right, so, right. yeah, I think I like Poirier. I'm cool with that. All right. Cool. And then we're going to scry a Lotus Field at the top? Absolutely. I agree. Ooh. I will accept an impulse. Keep that? All right. You got to keep that. All right. Yeah. Doesn't feel good, but... All right. No Kiora untap Lanoroff, please. Had enough green. We're good. Damn it. Second forest is definitely green. All right. Couldn't stop and ground me there. I guess we, we, we've been stopping ground Devotion too, but... God, oh, come, come on! on. Hardcast love struck beast. Don't don't cure us. Just hardcast know, right? love struck beast. Play your five five. Come on. Somebody's playing a prank right, on right. me. It wasn't it wasn't the elf at least. Although probably okay. gonna feel here, so. Probably. Nope, just a forest. All right. Okay. We're we're still in it, gamers. Yeah. And Lotus Field. Oh, it's a, it's impulse, right? Uh, so. Yeah, we, we know exactly what it is. Right. I forgot. I got excited. Uh, all right, so we'll just impulse here for field, right? Yeah. And, uh, 
All right. I mean, okay. scrying's fine, right? We accept scrying. All right. Let's take a scrying. And uh, hopefully they just have again. I mean, they haven't really had it yet, but, you know, the, the kind of creaturey rampy part of the deck. So. Yep. All right. I mean, our end is pretty good, right? We have, like, we already have a stage. We have a good amount of mana. We have the poor. We have a vizier. Can we, like, even yeah, start going off next turn at Lotus Fields? Once we get our stuff going, we're going to be able to start going off. I don't, I haven't done the math yet on whether or not we have the mana next turn. Yeah, so we can, like, play Fields, tap two, untap Lotus Fields, sack two. Uh, we can't, like, copy and can go off, but... All right, we'll, 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 we'll see what they do. Yeah. Bobby, maybe uh, maybe Tandy was right yesterday when he was saying that there's too much green in the leagues and we should ban Nick those. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw that, actually. I saw that. A little, little bit of discourse on a Tuesday afternoon. Oh, yeah. The Twitter discourse. Never get involved. Hello, Ari. I'm a, I'm a Ari happy, happy spectator from the back. Yeah, same. Ari was involved in that Twitter discourse. All right. Haven. All right. This is All right like... Let's see what they do with that. Stop. Play Cavalier. Play Cavalier. Come on! <sighs> All right. God. We're just doing everything on hard mode today, Jim. Yeah. I'm sorry you have to. I'm sorry you had to learn this way. All right. That's okay, you know. Here's a yeah. needle. It's a, it's yeah. a classless new needle. And they named Stage, I assume. And now we are just... In... I mean, like, stage. we could, like, we could, have, we could, have, we could have, like, strings, right? Like, and maybe just... Trying to yeah, turn. Yeah, strings. I think that we probably can start to go off here. How about a sanctum? All right, uh, sanctum does not do it. So <laughs> let's let's talk through this. Uh, let's make sure that we don't make the same mistake that we did in the previous games. Let's make sure that we don't lose to um, Stone Brain on the spot. Okay. So I want to play Lotus Field this turn, and okay. So for playing Lotus Field this turn, I think. As much as I want to cycle Vizier, I think unfortunately we need to. Um, or as much as I want to hard cast Vizier, I think that we need to cycle Vizier and then cast Boar. I think that we just need to try to dig for Besaju here. Okay, so we're going to go float two Lotus Field, use the two untap Lotus Field, tap yep. five, play Poor, and then just like yeah. let it ride, and then see where we go from. Yeah, there. I think I agree. Letting it ride is, is is a necessity here. So, all right, let's uh, let's do it. So Let's do it. Tap two. Field me. Cycle. Untap. Draw Leer. That's interesting, right? Definitely could be. I mean, we still need to find strings, but... Yeah. Okay. Let's pour it up. Mm-hmm. All right. We draw Hope Tender, Odawara, Recovery. That's not... Is good. I guess we have Odawara up. Yeah, here, but that's a really having, like... having Odawara could actually be really, really beneficial for us. The problem is that we can't float the mana to cast it because they would recast whatever they play. That's then, true. Yeah, and then we can't end step it either. So um, yeah, so I, I think we're discarding Botanical Sanctum. So we just cast then, Tender, maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any other options. Because, like, like, like the only way Odawara works to bounce mm -hmm. with their hate pieces is if they, they, they tap out completely for it. Right. Um, which I guess they could do in theory, but... They could. And if they were um, if, if they were to get a uh, a damning sphere and then play it... We can't really, like... Like, what's our what's our next turn look like? So we like we hope, hope to enter here, say so go. They get damage here, they say go. Then what? Then we have four mana in play, and so then we can untap or we can use hope tender to end of turn bounce damping sphere, and then try to do something, try to make something happen. Okay. So I, I think that's our line. The other line that I'm thinking about is Bally getting back to Sylvan scrying, and then Sylvan scrying for a Seiju. But that's really. I think that's too slow. I think we just need to. Get yeah, if we get play. if we cancel scrying this turn, also, I would agree if we had five mana. But yeah, agreed. Um, agreed. Yeah, I think I agree with just playing tender and saying go. I think so. Bounce Karn. So yeah, we if we bounce Karn, they they can still sphere. I mean, they have two, four, five, six, seven, like potentially eight mana next turn. Jesus. 
yeah, if we if we bounce Karn, then they can just put Damping Sphere in play, and then we're, yeah. we're just kind of dead. Yeah, let's play attendees and Sigil. Answer to the Damping Sphere, unfortunately. All right. So many green gamers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, attendees are 2-2 also. I guess they could rumble and they could harm a little bit. It's hard as a matter at that point, honestly, can, but... Can absolutely get in there. Hmm. All right, Karn, what do you got for me? Well, I just got, like, a good, honest boat, you know? Play the boat, Hope kill tender. our tender. Hope tender's a big threat. I think that we should really focus on just killing the Hope tender right now. Boop. Damping sphere, not very honest. Yeah. It's uh, some pretty rude gameplay here. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. What else you got? So make Frank. happen. They might have screwed up because like they played this first. It should be the last thing they play because it doesn't tax their future spells. Yeah. But always, always, always. They just got excited. These are like, "Ooh, I'm gonna get this stupid Lotus Field player." Ha ha. <laughs> people, hate, people do hate combo decks. Like they really do. Yeah. Like you're playing dredge, and you're playing like you go to game two, and they just like take half their sideboard, slam it on a table. It's like nine cards. You're like, oh, all right, sure. Oh yeah. The amount of times where I would just like be in some SCG classic and go turn one street corner, and my opponent just like puts their head in their hands, and is like, man, you're just a bad person. Yeah. It's just awesome. All right. Um. IFL stream. I haven't looked at the Phyrexia set very much. I do think that the um, the card that's kind of similar to Giver of Runes can definitely have a big impact. I think that Jesse just wrote a pretty good article on Channel, F Channel Fireball that just went up, went up a couple days ago about that. Um, that's really the only card that I've seen. Yeah, I'm doing my set review on Friday. I haven't like looked at a set that closely yet, honestly. So. Okay. It should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to see this new spin on Phyrexian mana. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. And, like, obviously we have the uh, we have for the PT, too, which is fun, having, like, a pretty new set in a PT. Yeah, and then, like, the it. draft format's pretty new, too. So mm -hmm. it's not, like, yeah, really... a dead format, and this set releases, like, two days after the Pro Tour, like they've been doing lately. Right. So Right. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm probably going to play uh, – I live about an hour and a half from Indy, and so I'm going to go and play the SCG that's there next, oh, sweet. There next weekend. Yeah, and so it's just like a pre-release that also is like structured the same as a sealed Grand Prix. Yeah, I, I we were I was considering going to that, but it's like two days before mm -hmm. leave for the PT and stuff, and it just like can't yeah, make it work. It's not really fun though. I agree. A big a big limited GPS event is super sweet. Yeah. All right. Um. um so. Say go bounce damping sphere end of turn. Yeah, I, I guess. All right, sure. And then hope that we hope that we draw something. I mean. The best thing I could do is old growth troll, and they only have, they have four cards in hand. Like maybe you know they, uh, Karn can't yeah. do anything else here. So it doesn't yeah, like we need to exert our hope tender to uh to make the mana, but. Mm -hmm. oh, God. But this hidden strings means that we can still use hope tender next turn. Oh, that's true. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we've been um we've been trying to bully Will Kruger into going to India and you know hanging out for the weekend, but. With the Pro Tour being, like, three days after that, he keeps telling us he can't. Yeah, it's the PT's actually, like, a, a week and a half away, but we're doing mm -hmm. testing house. I think, Will, I think Will's on my team, so we're, we're doing a testing house. We are oh, starting sweet. the 7th. So, and uh, we, like, you know, got an Airbnb and stuff. And, like, it's cool because, like, I've done the Pro Tour testing house, like, maybe once or twice in my life. Like, early my early Pro Tour days, like, I didn't know anybody. I played, I played the first, like, 12 Pro Tours, like, just not knowing anybody and just, like, going alone for the most part and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, definitely very nice having a group. Doing the house sounds like a lot of fun. Some people have tried to get those together for RCs, but I'm just never able to take that much time off work. Yeah, that's the issue. It's like now that like you know, you know, it's like I got I got a newborn and, and another kid, and like you know, right. my my job now is content. You know, like I I took right. off you know for worlds because I had my my kid was coming. I took October all mm -hmm. October off, and it was like a combination of both uh, worlds prep leave and then uh, paternity leave. You know, right. for this I'm taking like you know a week and a half, and I think I ride we ride the seventh. And then the PT is the 17th and 19th, and I'll be home the 20th. So it's like, you know, 13 days, 14 days. So, you know, it's a, a lot of, like, I had to bank up a lot of content. And it's a lot of extra work. Come on. For sure. Jeez, dude. Yeah. So definitely. Okay, but they can't. I don't have mana, right? Yeah, I mean, 
And like, what are they? I guess they get like a, they got Tormod scrap here. They're pretty annoying. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like, I mean, they don't. Oh wait, them. they cannot get Tormod script. They have damping script play. All right, they can't, they can't cast anything, right? Okay. Okay. The stone brain. Okay. So you're I mean, saying there's a chance? I why think did we they might just win. Karn? Why did they cast Cavalier then? Is they're looking for Nykthos? Uh They probably drew Karn off of Cavalier. Oh, that makes sense. Sure, okay. Yeah, because Nykthos wouldn't do anything here with the damping screen. Oh, right, play. yeah, duh, right. So, yeah. um, okay. I mean, we can, like, definitely win this game, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we exert Hope Tender here. Uh, yes. And then, yeah, you know, all these all these good people are going to be, like, coming back on that Monday the 20th to see you with, like, the Pro Tour trophy. It's going to bring a lot of new eyes in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to guarantee victory or anything, but, uh, <laughs> you know... All right, so um, end step Odawara, bounce yep. the sphere, untap, and let's do a little dance. I mean, we have Leer and Sting strings now too, so like, I mean, we're like basically there, right? Oh, I we're think big chilling here. So we can just start with um, hidden strings, untap, hope tender plus lotus field. Right, so blue, and then we do not cipher in this case. Correct. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so. Yes, yes, no. And okay. then we tap, let's see. So using strings again with the recovery nets us nothing, right? So it's three, uh, that's, four, yeah, so. Yeah, that's plus one mana if you have uh, two lotuses. And, oh wait, no, that is plus mana. Can we scrying yeah. for a second field? Like, um, get second field in play. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, chat. Yeah, not not chat saying we should have done that first. Um, yeah. Oops. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we should have. Uh, I think we're still fine though. Okay, so we tap sanctum uh, scrying through field, float of colorless, play field, untap both fields. Yep. And then play layer, play strings, and then try to just go. We are one short, are we? Um, two lands. No, we're not. Because we're going to have, um, we're going to use the Thespian Stage mana to exert Hope Tender, and then we're going to have three Lotus Field activations, so we're going to have four mana after we leer. Three Lotus. Oh, because it's, it's, it's untapped still. Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah. It's still yeah, yeah, okay, right. I, I was I was accounting the fact that it's untapped right now. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so scrying for fields. Almost in an island there. They've been pretty devastating. We're going <laughs> to play, play fields. going to sack two lands. Now we're going to float some blue. Now we're going to untap both of these. One, two, using the colorless. And now I get to tap this for green and cast Leer floating uh, a green. Okay. Because either way it doesn't, doesn't matter, but... Yeah. Do do your thing from here. You oh, yeah. Take it it's like, now we're just like, we have... Uh, we yeah. only have one string, we, we have four also, so... so... Tap this, untapping the Hope Tender and a land... Right, this and this, use a thingy. Yes, yes, no. Um, float, we need to pour now. So we're, we're, not, we're not actually there yet. We need to pour into it, right? So, so what I would do here is I would, um, I think that I would, crap, how much mana do we have floating right now? So we have five mana. And then, so if we tap the Lotus Field, we have five mana, and then Hope Tender is plus five, so we have ten. So I would Balagan your pour back right now. Okay, so we, I guess, blue, floating two, cast this on pour. Yeah, and this just makes it so we can cast pour two more times instead of just one more time. Okay, and then we get to untap two lands. Currently no way to untap Tender, but it's fine, I guess. So untap mm -hmm. these two. Paying one, and then we want to uh, blue and green. Yeah, either way, at fine. least one green, I think. Yeah. Drop vizier stage temple. Untap one. Untap two. Discarding temple. Okay. Uh, vizier untaps tender. Draws a card. Does not yes. play off leer. Um. Are we pouring first or viziering first? Probably vizier, vizier, right? I would vizier first because we might want to balagan the pour again. 
questions or or okay. or, or <laughs> out. all right so uh green blue exert using the blue and black and easy game easy life now we get omniscience behold petition yeah yeah that works nice that's pretty cool to beat a to beat a car in okay. gamer. Absolutely. Turn three Karn doesn't stand a chance against our hope tender. All right, so I was just thinking the exile zone. Uh, so we need to sure. stack this right. We need to cast we need to stack the petition first, then the behold, resolve the bazold, resolve petition. Yes. So petition first. Yep. And then it's kind of funny that in this case it doesn't matter in the slightest because of the um leader, but yeah, that is how you Oh sure, yeah, that's funny. There. there we go. Okay. Okay, up a game on the Mono Green Menace. We two copies of Karn in game Woo. one. All right. Feeling it. All right, so um, our sideboard, if I can recall correctly, was uh, Impulse, Impulse, Recovery, Multiverse, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what I was... Tender, yeah. Tear, Needle, Rift? Yes, sir. Cool. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's take Come out on. this Green Gamer. Let's get our chesty. Yes, one chest, a couple play Can we points. Open, are you are you a fan of opening the, the pity chest, Jim? I don't usually, but I will. If you want, I'll be happy to do it. Okay. We can crack I'm, that bad boy right open. Of, but let's not, I've, let's not count our chickens. Okay, right. okay, you're right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, here we go. Hand is pretty good. All right, so. Yeah, I would, I would definitely lean toward keeping this with the plan to... Um, if we don't draw a land on turn one, plan to scribe basically any land to the top on turn two. Okay, or on, with, with the Temple of Mystery for How about no land rough? What do you think? There's no shot, man. The mulligan, you, you can just mull What? Ho, 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 ho. okay. This is our, you take your lumps. You take your lumps, so eventually you can, you know, even things out a little bit. And then when you win, it's all worth it. Yeah. Here we go. All right, ultimatum. That's, uh, we already had payoff cards, for sure. Hit the scry. It's a sylvan scrying. We will take that. Absolutely. We, so we do want this. Maybe it's better than any land, because now we're still scrying for a lotus field. Yeah, so we can scry on turn two and scry on turn okay, three. Okay, sure. And then, then we, we just like, pick up, yeah. pick up a, a backup copy of stage. Okay. Yeah. All right, so yeah. We may also get... um. We may also get Temple of Mystery. Sometimes it's correct to get Temple of Mystery in this spot, but I'm not 100% sure yet. What is that? In Search of Greatest. I've seen it once or twice. It seems pretty bad. <laughs> um, they get okay, to play cool. a spell in their upkeep that has a mana value, a permanent spell, one more than one they have in play. So they can play a cure for, for free next turn in theory. But That's called In Search of Greatness? In Search of Greatness, yep. Yeah. All right. Still looking. All right, so... We are going to play stage and play scrying. And now you were saying you want to get Temple of Mystery in some spots? Yeah, so I think in this spot, what we're going to do is we're going to get Temple of Mystery and then... Oh, you know what? No, it's better to get Beseju here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Beseju here because if we draw a land next turn, we will play the land that we draw and have Beseju for something that they get off of Karn. Okay, and then if we and don't then, play a land, we're going to play Beseju and scry for Lotus Field? Yeah, exactly. And then plan to play Lotus Field tapped. And, and then copy with the trigger on the stack. On turn four. Okay. And then then we'll have no mana to combo on turn four? Or? Yeah, this, this hand can't really combo on turn four unless we draw another strings. But if we draw another strings, I think we're just going to be good. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting Beseju? Yeah. Beseju. All right. And I, I, I could very easily be convinced that this isn't correct just in case we draw, um, like, running Viziers or something like that. I'm, I'm not really sure. All right. They cast uh, a free geez. Wolf Willow Haven. This card has to do so much to, like, pay for itself. Like, yeah, this is wild. Like, you're you're a ramp deck. You just, you're just already putting these things into play ahead of schedule. Right. Like <laughs> they, they could have just spent the two mana to cast the Wolf Willow Haven last right. turn. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, um, Giro, this is actually one of the cheapest decks on Magic Online. I think it's less than 100 tickets. Oh, sweet. 
Yeah. And then, I imagine I mean, the bottom, the bottom like, is just Basaji, right? Like, without Basaji, yeah, yeah, it's probably, like, true. super cheap. Obviously, I haven't actually looked at it, but... Yeah. Okay. I haven't actually looked at costs since uh, Neon Dynasty came out, but... Holy crap, is it that much? <laughs> okay. Before Basaju came out, this was the cheapest deck on in Pioneer. All right, so they have a Karn in their hand. They can play Karn for free next turn. Uh, which I guess is a little scary, but... Let's draw for yeah. turn. Let me draw a Vizier. So... We didn't draw the land, so we have, we have, we have, we have, to, play, yep. have to play Basaju. Yep. Is there any merit um, to casting Vizier? I believe that we want to cast Vizier here. Okay. Yeah. So Basaju, Vizier, go. Yep. And then right. next turn... And then next turn we might be able to just win if they don't damping sphere us. Oops. All right. No free Karns, please. No Karns. In search of greatness, finding a Karns. Karn. God, you Come so on. Much. <laughs> it's the Karn League. All right. Just... And you know, you know, they definitely kept this hand that didn't have an elf because they had the in search of greatness. Yep. Yep. All right. They found greatness here on turn four, and they have six mana available. They're gonna get the stone brain. Brain away. Yeah, they can just brain lotus here, and holy crap. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, I if guess they, if we had like, we couldn't even really put the the lotus in play because they would lose our stage also. And like right. one lotus so, not with this hand, so no, it's not. And I, I'm pretty sure we were just going to win next turn. Yeah, with with the strings. So I, I'm I'm happy with the play. Like they need to have Karn. We're kind of just making them have Karn on their six card hand. No. Yeah. All right. Chose okay. lotus field. We can go to game three. All righty. Let's see if we can do what we did in game one. All the marbles on the play. Yep. I, I do enjoy being on the play for game three. That was our plan, honestly. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We, we know we're not going to beat them on the draw. Yeah, right? Just whatever. You know, so game two is so okay. It's a wash. It's fine. I'm just going to go game three. The play is cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, no. Man, can we just find, like, a good Lotus hand with a pithing needle? Eh? There's your Lotus. There's a Scrying Grazer. This is just a great, right? Cool, yeah. So we keep this um, and ship. I think we ship... Odawara. Why Odawara over Island? Um, hang on. Beseju only gets basics, right? Uh, Beseju could also get uh, any land with a type. So I can get breeding pool. Oh, too. okay. So we have a breeding pool. Um, in that case, I think that we ship the Odawara just so that we have one more answer to Damping Sphere just floating around in our deck. Because our turn one is just locked in Besage sure, I guess you put it's, it's Besage you in... and Island. Sure, okay. I, I, okay, that makes sense. So we're going to go Besage you, Razor, Island, go. Yep. Okay. And they are on... Obviously seven, because I, I don't think any of our green opponents have mulligan once, so... <laughs> no, never. They would never. Not a single time. All right, so Grazen. All right. So we need a little bit of action here, but mm -hmm. tons of mana. Yeah, we are we are like all set up here. We've got fast lotus field, the untap effect. We have a copy effect. Also, you see the action, and that's not bad actiony. Um, so we're just scrying for thingy and play field. Scrying for stage, play field. Yeah, that's that's the plan. All right, here we go. Don't want to yield to that. Yeah, that and that. All right. So we want to draw uh, Ultimatum, Pour, Impulse, uh, Vizier. Yeah, basically anything that sees cards here. Yeah. Honestly, Dark Petition might be able to do some stuff for us. Just you got to find Greatness. They found it last game. Can they find it again? Okay, but hear me out. They just had enough mana to do the thing last. But they didn't need the In Search of Greatness. Yeah, I mean, listen. They just had six mana. You don't find greatness unless you look for greatness, okay? All right, so. Okay, listen, who, who am I to say? All right, so um, we just stage copy here. We're just kind of like 
Yeah. yeah. Stage copy now because they could besage you. Yep, I can hold that. Cool. All right. All right, so as soon as we find any card that draws cards, we are big chilling. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have a lot of mana. <laughs> You got Ritual, Ritual, Yagmoth's Will. We just need the uh, the something. We could have cast Leer. Um, we could have. So that means that we burn a Strings. So we have four mana. Yeah, that strings seems probably worth it. Mana. I guess like that might make, honestly might make them, if they do have a Karn, they, they only have... Don't get four mana script. Yeah, could. Yeah, I guess they yeah, had the free, could. we didn't know what the free, the free hate, we thought they, thought they had five mana. So I guess if they have Karn plus... The Free Haven. The Free Haven did us in. Holy crap. Uh, Snack Bandit. Copying in response to Besaju does work, but what happens is we put our thing on the stack, and then they Besaju you in response. Yeah, it's like, so if they just leave that, that up, we, we can't do it because they'll do it in response. Right. Did that just happen? That would happen. Of course it happened. Uh, there's a lot of Aura. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything for us, though. Um, My word. <laughs> All right, I guess I guess we're just saying go here. Um, are we playing Odawara? Or, like... Because we're two lands from cycling it anyway. So if we were to draw another copy, or... So putting it in play is better if we draw Impulse, right? So I think it's probably okay to put it in play. We, yeah, we, we, we draw Scrying, too, so... Well, we can't Scrying until we find a green source, but... Oh, right, he's like, if we call us, right. Um, yeah, I, I, still think it's, I still think it's okay to play. Like, Can we copy... We can copy Forest with the Lotus Field, right? Oh, yeah, and then give ourselves out to draw a Sage. Good call, yeah. good call. I okay. forgot about that. Okay. Let's say Smart. go... Right. I mean, the problem is, like, now Carnage gets something else. We probably just can't win, but... Yeah, for sure. But, you know, we gave it, we gave it a good shot. All right, get a, put a free Cavalier in, too. I, I want to see... I want to see Insurge or Gravis do everything here. No? It's nothing? Okay, no sure. No Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, it's just extra steps, extra clicks. Not necessary in the slightest, but, you know... <laughs> You don't simply you don't. find greatness twice. <laughs> I love I it. I found it. I mean, once you find it, you don't need to find it again. You already found it. True. It's very mm -hmm. true. Three cards in hand. They have two, three, four, five, six mana, maybe seven mana. Dang. I'm sad we didn't play it. Oh, that, 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 that's pretty true. Yeah, if we had played the, the Leer, we could have attacked and killed the card. That is that is true. That's yeah. on us, I think. Yeah. So yep. That would be difficult to win, I think, but mm -hmm. I guess then we can flashback to scrying eventually too. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oops. Yeah, that would have been that would have been the better play. Yeah. All right. I am I am rusty. I haven't played this deck in a long time. I have no excuses. I'm just I'm just not doing <laughs> so. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, so if we had played the Leer, then we could have. It would have required us to like make us into a forest on tap. I guess Leer's a legend. But yeah. then we can't we can't scrying and have a green source. We draw a green source also. But it's, definitely that's really for sure. It's slow. We need them to not have anything for a few turns. Yeah. But yeah, raced is definitely a master. I agree. Alright. A little extra haven action. And they bring us for let's do let's do the name. What are they gonna name, chat? What are they gonna name? If you call it, you win a high five. When they get Tormos, yeah, that is true. Yeah, then they, well, then they get Crypt. Well, if they get Crypt, they don't get Sphere. So they're gonna name your already dead. If they do that, I would be, I would be, I'd be impressed. So they name Besaju, be and now we are cold, except for our single copy of Odawara. So we have another copy of Odawara, and we have Terra Sunder. All right, yeah, we have this under two. Okay, yeah. okay. The, this right here, um, I was actually pretty against it, but Piper insisted for championships that we play one copy of Blast Zone in the main deck for okay. situations like this and for Mono White Aggro. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have Cyclonic Rift, too. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so we are going to copy... The well, first. hold on, hold on. Do we copy anymore now that Besage is no longer an out? Uh, we still have Terra Sunder, right? 
Yeah, yeah, so we should. You're right. I guess, like, I mean, then we need to recopy to make it more mana. But the problem is, like, we just can't stop this car and, like, before it goes so, off again. So once we once we have the Damping Sphere... Um, once we have the Damping Sphere off the table, Leer and Strings means we just have all the mana in the world. I think I'm fine giving ourselves additional uh, draws to tear us under. I'm in. All right, it's a nice forest. Untap and draw. Tear asunder. Oh my god. Oh, the old upkeep stop. Oh, Boral Grazer. Great. Oh no. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't quite do it. Uh, are we even guessing that? Probably not, right? You could, like, in theory, like, get an extra land and play yeah. later or something as we're going off, so... Yeah, like, just holding it do anything? I don't know. Yeah, good old Karn. Karn's really here to ruin our day. All right. Sure is. Here comes the old greatness search. Someone was asking me a question earlier. Uh, a friend messaged me and said, is Nykthos the best card in Pioneer? And I said, I think it's in the conversation. But I think that Karn the Great Creator might also be in that conversation. Yeah, I think the Green Devotion deck, like, is reasonable without Karn. It's, it's obviously, it's, it's, like, fine with it, too. But, yeah. like, I think it's, like, if it, if the deck can't combo or have, like, such easy access to these hate cards, it's just a ramp mm -hmm. deck. It's still pretty powerful, but, like, it's not, like, you know, either A, yeah, able to be, you know, by comboing, or B, able to handle anything. Yeah. You don't just have clean answers to combo decks and actually have to beat them down. Right. And then being able to like 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 the angels deck is like I think good against green except for the card part of a deck where they can combo you because like usually yeah. our angels board can be too big for them to handle. Or a needless too. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pack it up here. I think. All right. Okay. All right. Well, we, you know what you know what it was the real the real crux of the issue here. It was the uh, the chess talk. You know. We discussed about opening the chest. I, you know, yeah, you're right. You can't, I'm so sorry. can't decide where you're going to put your trophy before you win it. So that's oh, all right. You're, you're that's so all right. right. So any uh, any closing thoughts on the deck? Um, I still think the deck is in a good spot in Pioneer going forward. Obviously, Mono Green is a tough matchup when your opponents know that they're supposed to mulligan the Karn. But I think that you've got a lot of good matchups in the field right now, uh, especially if Is It Phoenix makes a big comeback. Um, if I were to build this deck, I would probably build it with an Extinction Event in the main, just if you want a Black Sweeper to be able to get off your Dark Petitions, big help in the green matchup and the white matchup. And then, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun if you haven't given it a try before. Deck is super fun to just pick up and try. It is wild. It's kind of deck where, like, I think a lot of people are scared to try it, which kind of puts yeah. it in the weird spot where like, people are scared. Like, I think KCI was like that, too, where, like, it's just so daunting to play. People won't play it, but it's obviously very powerful. Not, not as good as KCI was, but... But I'm um, cool. All right, well, seriously, thank you so much for coming on. This has been really, really Happy fun. Jim, this was a lot of fun for me. Great back and forth. Hope it was good for the audience. Obviously, in chat, let me know what you think. And then um, in YouTube, maybe think. Once again, follow Connor on Twitter. Check out the articles on RWI. I'll, I'll put the links, send me the links in Discord. I'll put them in the uh, the description on YouTube. And uh, sure that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace, YouTube. Happy going.